This is a journey into the inspiring life of our mother in Israel, a philanthropist and devout lover of God and humanity, Mommy Fulu Adeboye. This documentary captures the essence of her remarkable journey, highlighting her unwavering commitment, resilience, and unwavering love for others. She remembers almost everything. And she doesn't close her door to anyone. Mommy genuinely loves. She is not a woman that is that gets distracted easily. She's highly focused. Lord, I want to use this opportunity to wish my mother, Mommy Gio, Mrs. Folu Adeboye, uh, a long life and prosperity. I want to pray that God will give her more anointing, double anointing, to cope with the task ahead of her. I have known Mommy Gio for more than three decades now. She's been the same person I knew when I knew her. Very hardworking, a faithful servant of the Lord, and somebody who does not hide her feelings at all. She will be your friend if you are faithful and you are hardworking. But if you are a lazy person, you are far from her. She taught me many things. And till today, I'm still using most of the things she has taught me in my own personal life. She's a great woman of God because she's a mother in a million and she's a mother to millions of people all over the world. So she needs this anointing. So we pray that God will increase her anointing and relent in her life to fulfill her purpose on earth. Praise the Lord. Israel, Mommy Jew. Mommy, I bless God for your transforming and radiating life of 
loving kindness. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for all the teachings. What would I mention and what would I leave out? I want to say thank you for mentorship. Thank you for all that you have been to me and to all of your children. Thank you for intercession. Today, I join your children around the world. Trust God that you will have many more years of celebration of your life and in good health. Happy birthday, happy 75th birthday, mom. I love you. missions and your visions to be realized is the power of the Holy Ghost. birthday mommy happy birthday today is indeed a day of joy a day of celebration I uh, we wish you long life good health may the Lord continue to lift you up may you continue to grant your heart's desire may you continue to anoint you may you continue to promote you may the Lord himself take care of you from now even to the end of your life in the name of Jesus, I love you so much. Thank you for being a blessing to me, to my family, to the grandchildren. Thank you so much for all you do for us in public and in private. I just want to take this time to really celebrate you. If, if we had to say words from now to the end of the day, we would not exhaust the blessing that you have been. God bless you, mommy. Have a very lovely birthday. Glory to God for 
my beloved mother, our mommy, our mother in Israel, mommy Fulu Adeboye. Many call her a mother in the million. To me, she is more than a million. She has always been there for me at my lowest esteem. And uh, she's an encourager, a supporter. And uh, whatever I am now, they have contributed immensely to it. And uh, what he has done in my life became indelible, very memorable. And I've been part of my everything that I represent now. So I pray for her that in this new year, the Lord Almighty will continue to show her mercy and favor, and God will continue to watch over her, keep her free from sickness, free from disease, in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a, a sense of joy for people like us and the entire Redeemed Christian Church of God, seeing all activity over time, our labor, both in prayer and sacrifice, our uncultivable generosity towards us individually, a family, and the family of God as a whole. It's a thing of joy today that she is clocking 75. Mommy, we love you. Wishing you many, many glorious years ahead. It is the duty of you and me who appreciates life to make it a task and a duty that wickedness will no longer prevail over our nations. Give glory to God for the life of our beloved mommy, Mommy Gio, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. Mommy is a very special and unique personality. Somebody you cannot meet with her and you don't have a good story to tell. She's a blessing to the world. She's a blessing to our generation. And she's a blessing to the redeemed Christian Church of God. So many things to say about our life, but time will not permit us. Let's mention a little a commitment to the work of ministry, a commitment and devotion to the ministry of our husband and our family, and also a dedication to the work of ministry. Whatsoever Mommy Gio says a mind to do, she's going to put everything into it. Mommy is a great builder, builder of people build our structures, build our ministries. Mommy, we appreciate you. The Almighty God who has called you, who has kept with us far, we will not leave you. We grant you long life, but we grant you good health. We will live long, we will fulfill your peace, and we will live the fruit of your labor over your children, your biological children, your spiritual children, those of us who are prepared to be your siblings, and we God. Almighty Himself will reward your labor of love. Here on earth, long life and good health. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Our Lord and our God will bless your name. Thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for this day that we have made to be day of joy and celebration in our life in the life of your daughter, our mommy, and the entire redeemed Christian Church of God. 
Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for 75 years of your faithfulness, of your grace, of your strength, of your favor, of divine encouragement and enlargement. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for gathering us together today to rejoice in your presence. Thank you, thank you for the life of your daughter that we are celebrating. Please take all the glory in Jesus' name. In your name we have gathered. In your name we declare this ceremony open. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Can they be seated? It's time for us to spend time to honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So I respectfully ask us to please rise for praise. Our feet as we lift up our hands and worship to Jesus. Father, we bless you. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you worship. We Surprise. Hallelujah. Say, Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah. Everybody say, You have done in the life of our mommy. Father, we say you reign. Jesus, you reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. Hallelujah for the Lord God. Hallelujah for the Lord God. We pray 
closing with a dance so we declare you are the mighty God the great I am hallelujah hallelujah you are the mighty God the great I am hallelujah Praise your holy name. You 
give him all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now we'll be taking the first hymn for this glorious service. It's on page three of our program. Let us with a glad song. We will all sing together stanzas one and two. Stanza three will be by us alone, just our voices, giving glory to God. And then we will all join to sing stanzas four and five. So we are ready to take the hymn, Let Us, it's on page four, I beg your pardon, it's on page four of the program. Let us with a gladsome heart. All who have a gladsome heart this morning, we are going to be singing this hymn joyfully to the Lord God, our Savior. Amen. The choir, please.
seated in the mighty name of Jesus. It's now time for our first Bible reading this morning, and it's my joy to welcome Sister Fumi Adubi, one of mommy's grandchildren, to take the Bible reading for this morning. You're welcome. Good morning. My Bible reading is taken from Psalms 92, verses 1 through 10. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening, accompanied by a ten-stringed instrument, a harp, and the melody of a lyre. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. O oh Lord, what great works you do, and how deep are your thoughts. Only a simpleton would not know, and only a fool would not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like weeds, and evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O oh Lord, will be exalted forever. Your enemies, Lord, will surely perish, and all evildoers will be scattered. But you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Thank you. Your voice will resound to the uttermost parts of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Mommy loves hymns, so it's time for us to take another hymn this morning. And we'll be rising to sing the next hymn, Praise My Soul, 
the King of Heaven. It's on page five of the program. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. The choir will be leading us as we sing this hymn in Jesus' name. Choir, please. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want all of us to do something very special right now. I just want us to take the next one, two minutes to thank the Lord Jesus on behalf of our beloved mommy on your own, where you are seated. Just lift your right hand, lift your voice, and just begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord on behalf of mommy Gio, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. Everything you can remember about her. Just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for thank the Lord for making her who she is. Thank the Lord for the strength that He has given unto her, the wisdom that He has given unto her. That she's a worthy and vibrant helpmeet to her husband, our daddy Gio. Thank the Lord that she's a mother, not only biological mother, to countless multitudes all over the world. 
who call her mother. Make sure you are thanking the Lord. The Lord, it is you we are honoring today. You are the one we are giving the praise to. You are the one that we are magnifying. Tell the Lord how grateful you are that your life, God gave you the privilege that your life has touched her. Whatever she has been to you, give the Lord thanks this morning. Brethren, let's make sure we are thanking the Lord. It is God that we are thanking. It is God that we are giving all the praise unto. For our mother, for this beloved woman of God, who is serving God passionately and sincerely, a generous giver, a lover of men, a prayer warrior, a, a, a teacher, a counselor, a friend, a helper of many, helper of destinies. Countless people have gone through her. Lord, the nations are also thanking you. On behalf of the African missions and all the nations all over the world, Lord, this morning we are saying thank you. Receive the praise. Receive the glory. Receive the adoration. Papa, we thank you. On behalf of mommy, we are saying thank you. Thank you for good health. Thank you for 75 years. She's on her feet. Lord, we are saying thank you. Lord, we are grateful to you. She's not being spoon-fed right now. She's not in an asylum. She hasn't been declared missing or wanted. Father, we give you the praise. Lord, we give you the glory. She's alive today. And she has come to return all the glory to you for your abundant grace. We join her in saying thank you, Papa. Dalu, Papa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked. And we have all said, Amen. Now the choir, they will be ministering unto the Lord in songs on behalf of our beloved mother. Please listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I say thanks for all the things you've done for our mommy? Things so undeserved that you gave to prove your love for us. All the voices of a million angels could not express a gratitude. All that we have and never hoped to be, we give it all to Thee. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the things.
Just let me my life and let it be pleasing unto thee. And should I gain any praise, let it go to
if we were clapping for the King of Kings, is too poor. Let's lift our hands above our heads. All his works shall praise him. All his works shall bless his name. Let a living praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm sure we all have stories to tell about Mommy Gio today. How you first met her, how her contact how your contact with her was and how she has impacted your lives. Right now, we'll be taking a few tributes in honor of our beloved mother, Pastor Mrs. Foluke Adenike Adeboe. And the first set of people that I would like to call this morning by the special grace of God are mommy's classmates from the United Missionary College. I'm sure you know how far back that goes. So can we celebrate them as they come forward this morning to share as to God's goodness how they knew our mother and the things that they want to say about her. Please, we are clapping unto the Lord. Our claps, your hands will never wither in the name of Jesus. As we welcome them to share for one minute as to what they remember from our mother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us sing a song. Oh, shall joy be. Oh, shall joy be. For look at shall joy be. I want your phone. Oh, shall joy be. Oh, shall joy be. Mommy G, oh, shall joy be a wife Oh, shall joy be, oh, shall joy be. For look at shall joy be a wife of Oh, shall joy be, oh, shall joy be. For joy be a wife of Praise the Lord. We give glory to God. It has been long since 1964 we first met. She was young and beautiful and hard working as classmates. She is so much love to everybody. Is full of love and is always happy about things of God. Even when we were in school, it is a missionary. It was a missionary school, so the white people that were teaching us, the missionaries, they knew her as a Christian. And as time went on, we moved on. We graduated from this school as teachers. And so, after some time, we started seeing ourselves again. Some after 30 years, and some after 40 years, 50, 50 years. Some after 50 years, she started coordinating us. She is a great coordinator. She loves people. And every year now, she's always blessing us, helping us. When we have one problem or the other, she's there for us. And moreover, even sometimes ago, when Mommy G.O. met me, one of them, in, in Akure, she recognized me. She's the one that recognized us because of the spirit of God that is in her. In her. It, she, she met one of us, even in London. And she said, that woman, bring her, bring her. And she brought us to Christ. Praise the Lord. 
Aleluya. The Lord Almighty, as our mommy is growing with our daddy, because when we were in school, daddy just came in one day. We even took pictures with, her, with him. That picture, I, I still had this for some time. <laughs> Praise that our daddy Gio. So it's a great pleasure to be a friend to Mommy Gio. We are happy. It's the one coordinating us. I see the uniform we are in. She is responsible for it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we love her and she loves us. We pray that all will be well with you. Amen. You will continue to grow in grace and in honor. More anointing, fresh oil. God will keep you for us so. And our daddy, God will keep you for us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What wonderful memories. Mommy, please, we would like to see that photo. We want to have a copy of it, all of us, on our phones, in the name of Jesus. And what a beautiful testimony, bringing them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Next on my list is a wonderful, precious woman of God, all the way from Ibadan. Reverend Mrs. Dolapo Adelakum from the Victory International Church. God bless you, ma'am. You have one minute. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Almighty God for mom and dad and the privilege that I have to stand here today. Um, the first time I met mommy, I came for the Feast of Esther, and my husband insisted that you have to see her and greet her personally. I had never seen her one-to-one -one before. So after the meeting, I went to her office and I was asking, please, I'm asking for Pastor Folu Adeboye. They said, that is her office. I sat down. For so long, people were coming in and going out. And I was wondering, what's going on? A woman came to me and said, are you waiting for Mommy Gio? I said, no, I'm waiting for Mommy. Because I didn't understand what she was saying. People were coming, and I, and I stood up. I went to the secretary. I said, please, I'm asking. He said, we have been asking you since. Are you waiting for Mommy Gio? I said, I'm not waiting for Mommy Gio. Ah. The woman said, do you know who you're waiting for? I said, I'm asking for Pastor Folua Deboye. They said, okay, sit down. I think they went inside to tell Mommy, and Mommy said, let her come, let her come. So that was my first time, you know. She's a mother, a mother like no other. And that was the first time I would come in contact with her. Another year, I had the privilege of going with her to Ivory Coast for the Feast of Esther outreach. And when we landed in the airport, she handed over to me her two bags. Those bags were heavy. <laughs> so we got to the hotel. After we were going for the meeting, she said, these two bags, you will carry it. I said, yes, ma'am. So we went for the meeting. When we finished the meeting, I said, Mommy, this bag is heavy far. She said, Bo she ma <laughs> And every time she would say, Dolako, there's a jota in the second bag, in the third layer. She knows exactly where the thing is. Ah. I said, wow. Ah. Dolako, there's one pen. 
the first layer of the first bag, that bag on your right hand. Ah, I said, hey, I'm learning a lot. Mommy, I love you. I love you. I love you. Mommy has a very large heart, a large heart that accommodates the good ones and those of us who are naughty. She accepts us as we are. And she's always reminding us of heaven. And I know that we will all get there in Jesus' name. Mommy, I want to say thank you. You are a model to all of us. You are an angel. You've given us so much hope of eternity. When mommy talks about heaven, you, it's so tangible, so tangible. Every time she will tell you, uh, if Jesus tarries in the next one hour, ah, I say, eh, ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> she makes heaven so real to you. She's a very beautiful woman. She has a sweet soul. She has a selfless heart. She's so sweet. I've never met a mother like her. There's no mother like her. I've, I've been excited. And everything she exemplifies has rubbed on, on all of us. There was a time in the Feast of Esther, she said, we want to go and check whether the toilets are clean. Tell me, tell me. I said, yes, ma, yes, ma. So we followed her. I said, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. I said, okay, mommy, mommy, okay. Another time I went, I came to the camp and I saw mommy. And I knelt down, and mommy started praying. Ah, she prayed and prayed and prayed. Ah, at the point, I opened my eyes to look at ah, I said, wow. She chronicled my story from birth to that point till when we make heaven. Ah, I said, this is deep. This is deep. So many things to learn from her. Mommy, I love you. I celebrate you. I say, thank you, daddy, for your love for us as a family. Bless you. Thank you, ma. Thank you for reminding us that mommy is very, very detailed. She will remember your name, your mother, your grandmother, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, and has a gift for everybody. Thank you, mommy. God bless you, ma. Pastor Mrs. Adela, thank you very much, ma. Next, to represent African missions, I'd like to call Pastor Eyono Fatai Williams. Praise the Lord. What can Africa Mission say about mommy? She's the founder, the one God gave the vision, and the one in whose life we have seen an actualization of the mandate that God gave her from Matthew 25, 35 down, saying, when people are hungry, you give them food. If they are thirsty, you give them water. If they are in prison, you go and see them. If they are naked, you give them clothing. If it's strangers, you take them in. We have seen this actualized in mommy's life. From what started as a little huddle of a few people in a Butemeta, mommy sent a message that there are some young boys and girls who come into a Butemeta. They are not workers, they are not doing anything, short skirts skimpy clothes, gather them for me and I'll share this vision with them. And that's how it started. Today, Africa Missions is a silent but leading global charity. <laughs> Mommy is someone we call a silent philanthropist. And that just being silent and doing the right things has rubbed off. Africa Missions has a footprint in over 20 countries in Africa. In Morocco, there's a vocational center. In Egypt, at the height of the Sudanese crisis, there was a vocational center for a lot of the children orphaned from what was happening in Sudan and widows. In Cameroon, there's a borehole. There's a vocational center. Before Central African Republic was ravaged by um, the security problems that happened there, there was a vocational center. You go to Southern Africa in Lesotho, there's a school. You go to Eswatini, the North American chapter have gone there to start another school. You go to Kenya in the Tukana region where there is, there's no water. This was carried by Time magazine. Mommy pushes you on. We dug a borehole, there's a borehole there and there's water. Is it in West Africa? You go to Sierra Leone, there's a school, there are boreholes. Is it in Chad? Is it in Burkina Faso, in Mali? The list is endless. In Cape Verde, it's endless. 
mommy just does this silently. But what we have learned from her is the fact that mommy is a moving train. There's no stopping. When she went to Coma Hills, when she took Africa missions to Coma Hills in the 90s, there was no road there. The terrain was tough. It was maybe four, five, six hours to get there. But we still remember her, her blue jean skirt, a white t-shirt, cap to go with it, a white pair of canvas. She kept going. The car stops, you get down, you walk a bit, you get in again, and she just keeps going. We went to Bakasi because there was um, reports of maternal early women dying through pregnant, um, in giving birth, and they needed a maternity center. Bakasi is an island when it was still part of Nigeria. We got there, she had donated boats, a maternity center had been built, and we needed to get to Bakasi. When we got there, high seas and banana boats, and mommy trudges on, and she could see her hesitation. And she goes, we are missionaries, Jesus is in the boat. Oh, and you stand down for one moment and go, nobody knows I'm here, and I'm going to get into this open boat. But she got into the boat, we went in with her, went on this banana boat 45 minutes in the high seas to get to Bakasi Island. And when they said, oh, you have to leave because the tide, after the tide you can't leave, she got into the boat again. And as she goes, we follow. We have learned from her that once the Lord says go, everything that is required, including security, to get it done that God has provided. We've also learned that the money follows, the, as you obey, the money comes. The last one, Pastor Benza, please, which has made a major impression on us, Kadam. You see Kadam in Ikpe, you go in there now, lots of buildings, nicely built. Sometime in the 90s, Africa Missions built just one bungalow in Kadam, and it had been on her heart year in, year out. One morning in early January, she put a call through, sent for Mabel and I, and says, we are going to Kadam. We've always said that Africa Missions must do something there. We had built the bungalow, got electricity, the national grid into Kadam, and when we got there, she looked around. It was a sorry sight. Estimated, it cost two, three hundred million. She stood there, made a resolve, and in mommy's fashion, as they say, the rest is history. Mommy, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the impact you have made in our lives, the impact you have made across Africa. Thank you for allowing Jesus to use you to fulfill that word that wherever there is a hungry, a naked, a sick, a thirsty, that he is sure that you will send the right people there on his behalf. Thank you, Ma. On all, behalf of all of African missions, we say happy birthday and God bless you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Mommy is missionary exemplary. My first missionary trip with Mommy, the tale is for another day. But I came back a changed person. God bless you, mommy, in Jesus' name. Right now, I'll be calling on somebody, one of mommy's sons who represents the business community. Please welcome with me, Mr. Thomas Etu. Praise the Lord. What can I say about our chairman emeritus? Every businessman, businesswoman that is seated here that I'm representing here, we know how she cares about our businesses and about that industry. Mommy, on behalf of your children from the business community, we're saying thank you. People have shared their experiences with Mommy. My first experience the first time I met mommy, we met mommy with my wife. And that has changed this little boy standing in your front. We came from an orthodox background, from a Catholic. My wife was a former, Muslim. she was a Muslim before she got converted. What mommy did to us that day, we came to Greater. Normally, you bring a gift to give. But the gift mommy gave us, the food, the clothes. And I look at myself, my wife looked at me and said, ah. 
we're supposed to be helping them now. They are pastors. Is she giving us this to go and share to people? I said, no. And those of us here that knows mommy, you know she have tests. These are high quality things. From that moment, our life changed. Because we thought we were givers, but mommy and daddy will always outgive you. Today, mommy, I don't know what to say. Every time mommy will ask me, what should I cook for you? I said, ah, me. <laughs> so in my house, my wife is daddy's daughter. I am mommy. And when mommy shared things, you could see my is more. Her is low. She will always say, that, I know that's your mommy now. Me, my daddy will take care of me. I want to say something, mommy. Your philanthropies, your concern for the downtrodden people. Has, that's where we learn from you. What we're doing today is what you have taught us. Because what you do, you are doing it to people that you are not expecting them to pay you back. And this is our thinking. And your concern about our well-being, about our businesses. When mommy sees you, she wants to ask you, how is your business doing? That's the first thing she asks you. How are you faring? But today, our prayer, Ma, is you will grow from glory to glory. And you're on your way to heaven. But all of us here, we are holding your clothes to go with you. God bless you, Ma. Thank you very much, sir, for the reminder about the wonderful packages you receive from mommy. You never leave empty in the name of Jesus. Finally, for this session, I'm going to be calling on one of the members of the governing council to speak on behalf of the church for mommy Jew. I'll be calling on Pastor J.F. Odeshola. You have one minute, sir. Let somebody shout hallelujah. When they ask me now, I'll be speaking, I'll be thinking which of the angle. But I want to speak from the angle of the one of the events that make most, most outstanding impact in my life. I remember when I was in the north and the entire northern um, Enclature was under one umbrella from crossing Jeba to Maiduguri. A mommy was visiting. I thought she would stay alone in Kaduna because at that time we have a vehicle that we have to use rope to tie the door, and I am the driver. She came with mommy Odeyemi. So when we finished, when she landed, I said, Mom, we have arranged program. She said, no, I'm going to touch all the installation in the north. I said, Mom, we have church in Nadeja. So we sailed, we started from Kaduna, we went to Kano. And in a pickup that we have to tie the rope, the tire is under management. So we went through all that route. Mommy didn't say nothing. She didn't drink water. She didn't. But when we got to Otupo, we need to cross to where our church is and there is no vehicle. Mommy said, I must get there. I said, it's only Okada. And at that point in time, it's a taboo for us in, um, in this place to carry a woman at the back of Mommy said, I will go. 
We have to carry mommy through Okada. Where she sleep that night was like a kitchen. That makes so much impression on me that throughout the journey, she didn't eat, no complain. And everywhere she goes, she, just as people have said, she go with a blessing. I told God when she was going, I said, if this woman is so loud to God like this, for the rest of my life, I'm so loud to Misha. Thank you for showing us. You are a book. People only open to the chapter they are reading. Your, your life is, um, is, is a combination of many chapters. We thank you for showing us good example. Congratulations. And Daddy, thank you very much for allowing her to be herself. God bless you. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the end of the first set of tributes for today. And right now, we are going to be inviting the younger generation of ADU. I'm sure you want to know what ADU is. Adeboye Descendants Union. <laughs> so we are going to be inviting the younger generation, the grandchildren. We are waiting for you. Come on, come on, come on. They have a special presentation for mommy today. All of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the younger set. Amen. See them looking radiant. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, it's children we are clapping for. Please, can we encourage them, please? Thank you. is coming from our hearts. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! Coming from my heart, praising thanks unto you, Lord, for all the things that you have done. I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. It is coming from my heart, praising thanks unto you, Lord. For all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. For all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love.
the Lord's presence will be upon your lives and you'll be greater than your grandfather and your grandmother in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Right now we'll be taking a Bible reading by the first uh, grandchild of Mommy Adeboye in the name of Jesus. It's my privilege this morning to welcome Brother Femi Adeboye to take the next Bible reading. Good morning, everybody. Uh, sorry to say, but I'm not the first, but I'm the second born. So I'll be really speaking in place for him today. But today I'll be reading from Psalm 34, verse 1 to 10, New Living Translation. And it says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will Glory in the Lord, let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, he delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him, he saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. May the Lord God Almighty bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Well done. Great job. Please let me celebrate the grandson out of many. Um, next thing we'll be doing is we'll be singing a hymn, Oh, a Thousand Tongues to Sing. And we are doing the stanzas one and two, one and two, and in English, yes, in English, one and two in English. While Pastor Klaja is uh, getting ready, I don't think these grandchildren experienced all the things we, uh, the first line, experienced. Um, I remember. The mommy geo that I know on redemption camp when there was no youth center or multiple gates, only one gate, we will be sitting there peacefully. And there's one particular man of God that lives in Ibadan. So I'm looking down right now, so you know I'm not looking at anybody. <laughs> would be going back after administration in Lagos. Ibadan wasn't that far then, the road was still clear. I mean, then when the cars go past, you can still hear them humming down the express for a long time. It would branch to say hello, and Mommy Gio, in all of her generosity, would run into the kitchen after serving all the foods and everything, realizing that there is no meat left, just pick all the ones on the food that we are eating. Um, starting with Pastor Diolu, Pastor Bolu, um, my amazing PD, and myself, and then it will now come in a lovely bowl for that man of God to see a full presentation. And we will be praying that this man of God will understand. The Bible says, hey, you have more than two, you should give one. <laughs> but the man of God would actually eat all four meats <laughs> and leave nothing behind. Now my wife wonders why I buy more meat than anything else in the house. It's a fear that a man of God will still branch again on his way to Ibadan. The choir, please. We love you, Mommy Jill.
standard three in Yoruba I believe in Yoruba all the way to the fifth one Please let us celebrate God for that wonderful rendition. Um, we'll be going into a second set of tributes, um, but we are waiting on our mother in the Lord and the celebrant to uh, come back. 
but the least would be this, that the grandchildren, Larry and Ireti Adubi, would come up. Um, so you would please prepare. We have to hold for her to hear what you want to say. So please prepare yourself for one minute uh, tribute. So practice, practice, practice. And we have Pastor Richard Adeboe coming in. And uh, after the two wonderful uh, ladies, and then Pastor Delanke Adeyokuno. I was shocked that that's his real name because most of us know him as FC, IFC, or the Money Man. Um, and then, of course, we would also have Pastor James Fadel from uh, RCCG North Americans Operation. And Ayomide as last, but I'm not sure Ayomide is in house. Um, while we are waiting for the celebrant to come, I don't know if we can have some light music. I have many, many, many stories to tell, but um, I'm not being approved by Daddy Gio to say any more stories here today. You can only be suspended three times in our CCG before you are fully fired. I've been suspended twice. I need to make it to 75. So please uh, help me, help me, help me. So I don't know if we can have light music while we are waiting on our mother in the Lord to come back because I don't think she wants to miss any of the tributes or else we would have to do it all over again. Um, please look at your neighbor and tell them what would you say if you were to be called randomly. Should we, should we test it right now? One word that you used to describe Mommy Gio, what would you say? One word. Please don't say a word that you won't be able to spell because then you, we might be in trouble. So, so can we have uh, some Elisha music while we are waiting for our mother in the Lord? Can I have the twins? Twins, please come and stand beside me. Thank you. Would you need two mics or just one? Thank you for the music. I have to just say something before the twins jump in. Yesterday, while they were at the dining table, we were talking about Yoruba, and, um, and they said I should ask them some Yoruba questions to test if they, if they are still good with their Yoruba and they don't have any issues, especially being uh, Americans. So I told them to tell me the meaning of Ile Kunti Olalu Bagbako De Ashikwaya. I think maybe it will be part of the attribute this uh, afternoon. On behalf of the grandchildren, we want to say happy birthday, Grandma. We appreciate how you've taken care of us with love, wisdom, and dedication. Thank you for looking out for us and for guiding us along the way. Thank you for all the life lessons you've taught us. Thank you for always being there to help us, to support us, to come for us, and to pray for us. You have taught us what it means to work hard and be diligent. We want you to know that you are very special to us, and we love you from the bottom of our hearts. When we look at you, Grandma, we see the perfect blend of strength, beauty, wisdom, love, and courage. We pray that you live long in health, happiness, peace, and prosperity. We pray that all great things life has to offer will be your portion in Jesus' name, and that God gives you all the desires of your heart. You're the best grandma ever, and we hope you enjoy your day. 
We are forever blessed and grateful to call you our grandma. Once again, happy birthday, grandma. We love you. Please let me celebrate them. Let me celebrate them. That was fantastic and precise. Coming up next is a pastor in charge of region, but in this uh, case is a peaceful family member from Mifewara. Please help me welcome Pastor Richard Adebue. Please help me celebrate him. He's from Mifewara. Daddy Joe is also from Mifewara. And they have gold. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for giving us Mommy Gio in our family as a perfect gift. So wonderful, so beautiful. Two encounter that I have personally with him why we were on campus almost 30 years ago. I received the call of God. We thought we could brush this aside, but we couldn't actually brought this aside. So we made up our mind that, well, we go at long. So the service here came. I'd already been posted to a place as a pastor. Immediately after I left the school, hoping that God will answer our prayer and the service here will come and meet us in the same place. But when we received the letter, it was falling to the Niger. And I was already a pastor in worry. And I said, what will I do? I said, okay, let me press the button. It was during one of the Holy Ghost services. I said, let me see if I can see daddy. So as I was rushing to the, I think the second office of daddy, uh, it became apparently that I won't be able to see daddy. But fortunately, I just met mommy. And the heaven just opened. And the moment mommy saw me, he said, Oh, come me, kill fair, kill the motun she, kill the motun ra. I said, My heaven has opened. And I told mommy, I said, This is the matter. He said, Follow me. She just pick a paper, wrote on it, and said, Go and give it to one of the directors in those states. By the time I got there, the moment they saw mommy's handwriting and her name, they said, Sit down. All of them were running a sketcher. <laughs> And they just posted me to worry where I was already a pastor. And I had my service here to get that pastor. And by the time they were doing, I said, ah, well, my wife, Toby, has also been posted to play two. I said, well, two. That was I, I used one ticket to get you miracle. The second encounter, the first, uh, my encounter with my wife produced a set of twins. And uh, when mommy had, it was what that could not be accessible here on earth that mommy couldn't pack. I and mean, it was so much that we saw it and we cannot but give praise to God. What shall we say about our impact on the entire Adeboye family? Mommy, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will prolong your life in the name of Jesus. Daddy, thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. I hope we are all learning. See how if there are people are doing it sharp, 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 sharp. Coming up next is a strong indigenous from Elisha in the person of Pastor Delanke Adeyokono. Please let me celebrate him as he comes. Some dollars might drop, some pounds might drop. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Except you forgot to mention that he's a prince of Elisha. <laughs> Praise ye the Lord. Please, for me to be able to meet with a very strange timeline, permit me to read uh, the tribute I wrote in a biography, which we shall be launching shortly on page 139. Pastor Mrs. Foluke Adenike Adeboye, a caring, loving, compassionate, diligent, visionary sister, pastor, and mentor. I grew up to know her as a gentle, caring, and loving sister. Uh, we knew her then as Antifo Luke. That was her name then. <laughs> it was the first child of a dynamic teacher and farmer, late Pa Jacob 
Adeyokun of blessed memory. Unfortunately, our father died very early when most of us were still in the primary and secondary schools, thereby fostering on her the enormous responsibility of having to look after her younger siblings, which she did to the best of her ability. She courageously took up the responsibility and with her selfless encouragement and support, she ensured that majority of us became university graduates and professionals. As soon as she became a Christian, she never let go of any of us until we all followed suit. Even though some of us were a bit stubborn then, we gave her tougher time than others, but she didn't give up. It is to her credit that most of us are now pastors in the redeemed Christian Church of God. <laughs> Mami Gio is an ardent and unrelenting witness of Christ. She's a selfless, loving, caring, and compassionate person. From the moment she gets to know about a need in the life of anyone, it becomes a burden until the need is met. I remember vividly one occasion I was in serious need and I came to her and said, Mommy, I need so much. And she said, I don't have that money now. And I thought it had ended there. So I left only a couple of days later for her to send for me and the exact amount she gave to me. It was a big money then, a big money it remained in my memory. She's the perfect description of the virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31. She will never rest until everyone's needs have been met. She's not just the pillar, but also the bridge that connects all the family members together. <clears throat> Mami Gio knows everyone's birthday. Visits all our houses. There is no house we have lived that she had never visited. She's a passionate, she's passionate about anything she says I might to do, spending all her resources, all resources at her disposal. She pursues her visions with so much passion and resilience that it becomes easily infectious to all around her. She has the unusual grace to do many things successfully at the same time. During major programs, you will see her arranging for accommodation and feeding for kings and chiefs, foreign guests, government officials, in-laws, family members. And at the same time, she'll be giving talks to women and having sessions with the children and the teenagers. I think we should clap for Jesus on our behalf. <laughs> Mami Gio is a missionary par excellence who in spite of her enormous responsibility as the wife of the general overseer, has visited most of our missionary outposts all over the nations of the world. She is a no-nonsense disciplinarian. She does not indulge any one of her children and siblings. So anytime you have issue with anyone, it pays you to run and report yourself ahead. Because if that person gets to her before you, you will not have any chance. <laughs> so you better run and report yourself ahead. Mommy is a no nonsense. She does not indulge anyone. No wonder God had rewarded our efforts to make us all sources of joy to her today. We pray that God will grant you long life and good health all the days of your life. On behalf of all the other Yokunos, mommy, we say thank you. God bless you. God will grant you many, many, many more years. 
and you will reap all the fruits of your labor here on earth and in eternity in Jesus mighty name please let me celebrate his royal highness um, up next we would have the fondly known as the chairman pastor James Fadell from RCCG North American Operations um, and as he's coming up to give his tribute um, <laughs> my uncle said that Momiju is a no-nonsense person Momiju brought a special set of pankere and gave my primary five teacher just for me about 12 special sets just for me not for the class especially just for me and since that time, I started scoring one of the highest marks in the class. So make sure they beat me into success. Please help me welcome Pastor James Fadel. Thank you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Mommy G, on behalf of your sons and daughters in RCCG, the Americas, we want to say happy, happy 75th birthday in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, quickly, there are two instances I want to bring to our attention why Mommy Jew is Mommy Jew. Uh, there was a time our father and the Lord came to the U.S. for a convention. That is before we have our redemption camp, about 800 acres of land. Then I was not yet the chairman. Daddy was coming from London. We never knew he was fasting. And... Uh, the coordinators then says, oh, don't worry, daddy is not going to eat anything. He's fasting. Lo and behold, daddy came. He was not fasting. Where is my food? I say, wow. Don't worry, sir. He came around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, till midnight, no food. It was during that time they went to go and buy the food, buy the meat and everything. The food did not come until 3 a.m. in the morning. Daddy Joe was already sleeping. Then we asked Daddy Akidele, please go and wake Daddy <laughs> to come and eat. And he opened the door. He said, if you don't get out of that door. And the next morning, we came to Daddy. He said, for this occasion, I will report you to your mother. And every one of us, we went on and he said, please, don't tell mommy <laughs> that when you came to the U.S., we did not feed you. He said, for this one, we never knew whether daddy told mommy or not. Please, never, never offend daddy and that he's going to tell mommy of your offense. Mommy, we love you. We fear you as much as we respect you. And we are praying that we never do anything that that will report us to you. God bless you, ma. The second instance was when we normally have our convention in the Americas, we don't feed people. We just assume that when you come to a convention, it's either you are fasting or you can feed yourself. Our mother and the Lord called us. He says, um, where is the food? I said, which food, ma? Ah. He said, the convention in Nigeria, we feed people. We say, not here in America, ma. She says, starting from today. And we start scratching our head, and she wrote a big check and says, go and feed the people. And about 10, 15 years ago, every time we have convention now, because of mommy, we have been feeding everybody that come to the Americans' convention. Mommy, thank you, thank you for giving us an example, leading us in the right way, and showing us the right way. We love you, we celebrate you, we pray for you, ma. Your natural force will not abate. Your head will not lack oil. Your eyes will not go dim. From glory to glory, favor to favor. You and daddy are going to heaven and we are following you all the way. And every one of us will make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Mommy, we love you. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, my chairman. Sir. Um, so when the chairman was speaking about people fasting in North America, uh, it can be shocking. One of the pastors sent a report in that he called for a seven-day dry fast in his church for just the ministers. There were about 14 of them. And um, when he told them, 
that we are doing seven days dry. One of the deacons got up immediately and left the meeting. He said that when I am not Daddy Gio and I did not kill Jesus. <laughs> so it's shocking that the Americans would think Daddy Gio will come there fasting. Um, but we are learning and I'm sure many people fast in North America now to the glory of God. Um, we will be going to our exhortation next um, because the person to give the next tribute is not on ground. To speak to us today and bring the word of life is the pastor in charge of region, I believe is region 20, and is also the intercontinental pastor in charge of CSR. Um, for a lot of us, we call him my father, my father. Please help me celebrate and welcome Pastor Ilu Yomade Idowu. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. My lifetime, I will give God my life. Time. My lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. He will never, never let me go. I will give God my life. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. King of glory, we adore you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, even for bringing us together once again in your presence to listen to a few words from you. Father, our Lord, we pray that in the next few minutes you speak to me, you speak to your people. At the end of it all, you take all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I feel unworthy and yet honored to be called upon to say a few words concerning mommy today, uh, the celebration of our own very dear mother, grandmother, the matriarch of RCG worldwide, the mother in Israel, and most especially our general overseer's sweetheart, girlfriend, Choco Milo, Sweetie Pie, Honey Soku, and Cookie Dough of over 50 years. I say unworthy because looking around we see many people who can do justice to this task. But I say honored because what I'm doing today is a privilege. And I know that if any one of us is given this privilege, we'll jump at it. So daddy, mommy, on behalf of myself and my Azuka Betito, Pastor Shiju, we say thank you. I just want to share a few thoughts that I call reflections. And I have three points to urge us within the time given to me. Psalm 90, verse 12. Psalm 90, verse 12. It says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. This is the oldest psalm in the Bible. But it's curious that Moses, in that psalm, said, teach us to number our days and not our years. Yet, what most of us celebrate is our years. For example, we're here to celebrate 75 
years. There seems to be an issue there. Teach us to number our days and yet we celebrate 75 years. I think God is telling us through that script, that scripture, that life is brief and we should not unadvisedly and aimlessly rush through life. But we need to settle down and take measured steps and wisen up, think and walk and live purposefully. So, today, we are gathered here to give thanks and glory to God and to celebrate not just 75 years, but 27,393 days of God's mercies, of his unmerited favor, of his faithfulness, loving kindness, protection, provision, and guidance. And I believe that that is the business that we have come to do today. Some people might say, hey, why days are not years? The answer is not far-fetched. God is saying, number your days. Celebrate days. Because he's the ancient of days. He daily loads us with benefits. He gives us our daily bread. He says, I will fulfill the number of your days. Even his mercies are given to us on a daily basis. He's a God that adds to his church every day. So, I think God is telling us that we need to think about this very deeply. If you ask me to count 1 to 75, it's so easy. Even the grandchildren can do that under five minutes. But when you tell me to count 27,393 days, that becomes a bigger deal. When you're looking at 75 in terms of days, then you begin to appreciate the faithfulness of God, the mercies of God in watching over you and being your Ebenezer, your stone of help for 27,000 days. People of God, you know, when you think about days, a lot can happen in one day. A lot can happen in one day. Job lost all his 10 children in one day. 10 funerals, freshly dug sand one day. In one day, he lost all his wealth. In one day, he lost all his possessions. In one day, he lost all his honor. His servants were no longer bowing down to him. He lost his nobility. He lost his place and position in council at the city gate. All in one day. People of God, all this happens in sequence, day after day. And remember that the sun smites by day. The arrow flies by night. There is destruction that wastes at noonday. Yet in spite of all of this, God has kept mommy for 27,393 days. Let's look at another dimension. An old statistic says 56 million people die every year. Every month, 4.6 million. Every day, 153,000. Every hour, 6,000. Every minute, 107. Every second, two people die. Yet, we are here to celebrate 27,393 days. Let's look at another dimension. Mommy, your heart beats 4,800 times in one hour. If the heart stops beating for 20 seconds, one becomes unconscious and dies. Every year, your heart beats 42,000 times. Today, 27,000. 
thousand days. Your heart has continuously beat for 3.1 billion times. It did not stop one second. And anybody looking at you, you still look beautiful as before. That's why your husband calls you girlfriend. You bring back sweet memories. You're still looking resplendent. A paragon of beauty and brains and heightened, heightened spirituality. Mommy, we celebrate you today. And we need to realize that if God had taken any one of us, he would still be a God of faithfulness without injustice. Good and perfect are his ways. Unquestionable. He's the one that looked at Jesus Christ, the innocent. Say, you, you are innocent. Go and die for those who are sinners. He is a sovereign God. He says, I will have mercy on whomsoever I want to have mercy on. I will have compassion on whoever I choose. No one can question him. In spite of all the ups and downs of life. And all the vicissitudes of life. God has kept you by his mercies. For 27,393 days. That we can still gather like this. To celebrate with family and friends. To give him thanks and praise. I think God is worthy of all praise. He's worthy of all adoration. No wonder the psalmist says in Psalm 87, 89, 1. Psalm 89, 1 says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Forever I will sing all the mercies of the Lord with my mouth, with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness with my mouth will I make known the Faithfulness through all generations I will sing of the mercies of the Lord Forever I will sing of the People of God, that is why we are gathered here today I can see Leke making some signs at me I know that means Pastor ID fire on. <laughs> Second point. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 that in everything, in all circumstances, no matter what happens, be cheerful and give thanks. For this is the will of of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And David added in the psalm that we read in Psalm 34, 1. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That is why we are gathered here today, to thank God. The third point, you know, when one is celebrating a birthday, You're not supposed to just start throwing a party and making merriment. The first thing you need to do after your morning prayers are reflections, looking back. The celebration of a bad day is supposed to be a day of deep and sober reflections of how God, how far God has brought you. You see, it is only when you reflect and look back and remember the days of little beginnings and the past graces and the mercies of God that you can really evaluate and thank him profusely and profoundly for what he has taken you through 
for where you are today and where he is taking you to. Dear mommy, like I said, the title of this short exhortation is Reflections. And I thank God for all the testimonies and the tributes that we've had. God is asking you and all of us to look back. So mommy, when you look back, what do you see? I'm sure you see the mercy and the faithfulness of God. Starting from the salvation of your souls. No one can come to God unless God draws him. We must not take it for granted that God saved you. And how he connected you with daddy. You gave daddy a birthday gift of a Bible and two white handkerchiefs. And that made him make up his mind. Ah, this is the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. When you think back at that, we thank God. I know you remember how God used your father of blessed memory to silence all those who ignorantly, due to your pedigree, opposed your marriage to our father in the Lord. Because of his humble beginnings, a man who had no car, no house, walked barefooted for the first 18 years of his life. The only thing that he had then was that he was an incurable optimist. Obviously, this is not a picture of a knight in shining armor. But looking back today, just see what the Lord has done. When you look back at your story, I'm sure you know and you've seen that you have sacrificed a lot. There was a time you left your paid job in Lorry to follow a man who said God has called him not only to city Lagos but to the bush, the wilderness that God promised him that he was going to build a city for him. And you followed him. But today, see what the Lord has done. I know those days, life was tough financially. You didn't earn salary for 12 years after starting the Christ Redeemer's nursery and primary school. Both of you were paying salaries of pastors and workers from the little money that remained in your hands. But somehow, the mercy, the grace, and the faithfulness of God pulled you through. That is why we are celebrating today. You told me just last week that for three years there was no electricity on this campground. You were walking around with lanterns navigating your, your, your way around this camp, campground that was filled with armed robbers and serpents and demons. I remember that he told us the story of when he was walking at night and he saw a tree. There was fire on the tree. But in the morning, the leaves were green. So there were demons there. Many of us would have run away. But you stood your ground because of love for God, devotion to the work of God, and the love for your sweethearts and your children. That is why today we are celebrating. When you look back, we see a woman of great resilience who in spite of tough and difficult circumstances and spiritual attacks, you stood your ground, fasted and prayed with daddy. And I remember a time I came to you 16 years ago. It was a tough time for us in ministry. And you shared a story with me that you had a dream that some evil men, they attacked you in the, in the dream. They used a cutlass on you in the dream. And you showed me when you woke up, the mark of the cutlass was there. I'm sure none of our wives would wait in the campground. If that kind of thing happened to them, they would have bolted back to the city. Yet, you stood your ground. That is why 
we are celebrating today. I remember that the only weakness that you have from daddy's testimony is that you are a generous person beyond measure. Mommy, I'm sure you remember the day when there was only tuba, one tuba of yam in the family and you gave it away, one tuba. And that is said what the Bible says is that if you have two coats, give one away. Your answer to him was that, my darling, you and I, we know how to fast. But this one doesn't know how to fast. People of God, because God is on your side, before the end of that day, somebody brought six tubers of yam for you. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. God has been faithful. When we look back, we see the woman with the heart of gold, whose life is profitable to God, an impeccable role model, ardent missionary with kingdom and heavenly perspective and focus. We have heard today of Christ the Redeemer School's ministry, which today has over 260 schools to its name. We hear of the habitation of hope, a home you built for street boys and orphans. We hear of the holistic ministry, which is a home you built for women coming out of prostitution. Adam, Christ against drug abuse. You facilitated buildings of hostels and sponsored vocational skills all over the place. How about African missions? Currently, African missions has 11 chapters spread across Europe, Canada, USA, and Nigeria. And the mandate is predicated on one of the most compelling scriptures that we all have, which is Matthew 25. We talk about taking care of the poor, the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the sick. And in the open heavens of today, that you refer to that scripture is one of the conditions of making heaven. You connected to that. And all throughout your work, we can see the fulfillment of Matthew 25, even in your life. Today, to the glory of God, the CSR arm of the mission following your footsteps has within the last four years been able to complete in Nigeria alone 1.5 million projects and we have spent 50 billion naira just because you went ahead and set the foundation. As I run to a close, I need to say that looking back, we see a woman who is the power behind the throne, so loved by her husband. Daddy says, you can slap me, you can lie against me, you can criticize me, it doesn't bother me. But if you touch my wife, you will see the other side of me. Let's clap for Jesus. When we look back, we see the mercy, protection, provision of God through the ages. How God used you and your husband as living legends to grow a church from 39 parishes in 1981 to a global phenomenon that has in Nigeria alone 56,000 parishes. Not talk of the whole world. Today, we can boast of RCG in 198 nations of the world. And Jesus says the church will endure till he comes. Looking back, we need to remember that it's not only human beings that look back. Even animals look back. If you've been to a bullfight, when a bull wants to fight and the matador dressed in red is taunting the bull, the bull doesn't just charge forward. No, it goes back. It goes back. What is he doing? He's thinking of the story he has had of how his forefathers dealt with Amalize the cats, the matador of Namunda. He, re he, re he remembers all those stories of the 
testimonies and the, the things God had done and the victories God had done even for him. And the mother does thinks that this bull is backing, backing up and it's coming forward, coming forward. In a split second, the bull will just charge forward. And because he had thanked God, it had remembered the past victories and mercies. Instantly, you see the matador flying even above. That is the same principle that David employed in 1 Samuel 17, 37. 1 Samuel 17, 37, the Bible says that before he went forward to fight Goliath, he looked back. He remembered God's faithfulness, God's mercies. Ah, that was a time. That was a bear. That was a time. That was a lion. That I know God never changes. If God has kept me thus far, if God has shown me his faithfulness, that same God will not abandon me. With that principle, he was able to face the new things that were in front of him. Some other people, they look back. What do they see? The rich fool in Luke 12, 17, 19. Luke 12, 17, 19. What did he see? He saw his own achievements, houses, possessions, children, and exploits. He did not give glory to God. He did not acknowledge God as his source. He boasted in his achievements, forgetting that the Bible says in Romans 9, 16, that it's not of him that willeth or him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Not you. You look back and you see God as your source. So, as I close, Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, mommy, as we reflect on God's goodness and mercy and faithfulness in your lives in the past, it gives us confidence and importance that the same God who has been faithful to you will not leave you. He will stand by you and he will see you through in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. As we face the future, my charge to you, mommy, is found in Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. Ephesians 5, 15 to 16, the Amplified Version. It says, therefore, see that you walk carefully, living life with honor, purpose, and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the very most of your time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence because the days are evil. Mommy, our prayer is that if you have celebrated today, your life and that of your husband and your plan will continue to be profitable even unto God. And God, who has been your mainstay, will be with you even to the very end in Jesus' mighty name. Better days are ahead of you. Leke, I need to do the altar call, which is the last thing. So you permit me. There's just one scripture. I would have told you a story, but you have already taken me out of here. Psalm 49 and verse 20. He says, a man in honor who lacks spiritual understanding and a teachable heart is no better than a beast or those dogs that cars kill on the road. A man in honor. You get to a place. They stand up for you. They show you to your seats. A woman in honor. They bow down to you. They celebrate you. He says, if you lack spiritual understanding, ah, you don't know why God created you. You don't know your purpose. The people who are celebrating today, they discover their purpose through an encounter with Jesus Christ. And today, the rest is history. You are here. You don't know why you came to this world. You don't know your assignment. You have not had that personal encounter with Christ. Don't you know that one day you go back home and the Bible says you will give an account of your stewardship. A man in honor who is not born again, who has not surrendered his life to Jesus Christ. 
The Bible says that you are no better than a dog or a beast. So we are here this afternoon or online. You can remember when you personally took a decision for Christ. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah that you must know Jesus Christ personally, practically, and directly. You don't have a second birthday. Everybody that is here, we have one birthday that we are celebrating like today. But for you to make heaven, for you to be born again, you must have another birthday. That one is being born again, not of the flesh, but of the spirit. So as all eyes are closed, maybe you surrendered your life before and your name was written in heaven. Is it still there? Moses says that God can blot out names. If you sinned and did not confess, is that name still there? Or you never ever even had an encounter that gave you two birthdays. I want to give you an opportunity to just surrender your life. So if you know you fall in any of those two categories, then put your hand on your chest and repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I know I'm a sinner because you said that all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please forgive me my sins. I plead the blood of Jesus to wash me clean of all my sins. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a new heart and help me to obey you. Please write my name in the book of life and lead me on my way to righteousness. If you say that prayer, all your sins are forgiven you. God has given you a new lease of life this day that we're celebrating Mommy Gio. I congratulate you. If you don't have a Bible-believing church that you attend, there is a redeemed presence of God every five minutes walking distance. We welcome you. And today will be a memorable day in your life in Jesus Christ. Mommy, once more, we celebrate you. We say, happy birthday. God bless you. And can we shout a loud amen to all the prayers? That amen is still in bed. Can we get a better amen? Thank you very much, um, my father, my father, as you are fondly called. And um, I did not say carry on, sir. I was waving frantically five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Because um, Daddy Joe says that we do not play with time. And as Daddy Joe has taught me, he said the secret to being invited back to any place where you have preached is one, to keep to time. And then second, that I had it, is do not finish all the meat at the dinner table so that they would invite you back. We'll be going into a session of Thanksgiving. Um, I hope the band is ready because we'll be doing a session of Thanksgiving which will lead into prayer for the celebrants. So while um, the systems are being checked and um, the uh, parties that will be leading us in Thanksgiving are warming up and making sure their mic is working. It is not only Mommy Gio that is turning 75 this year. Um, the nation of Israel also turned 75 this year. So you can see the connection that um, if you're celebrating, please clap very well. Um, my instructions are changing as we go along. You know, my uncle said something. He said that if there's an issue or you offend anybody or anyone offends you, it's the first person that gets to Mommy Gio that wins. Um, <laughs> one of our youth pastors was about to be audited before he did a handover of his office to, uh, to an incoming. So he just went ahead with his mom 
and they didn't even say a word. They just started crying at the entrance of the house without saying a word. Immediately, the auditor was already at fault and was going to be fired because Mommy Jo said, whatever is making them cry is the fault of the other party. So I advised the auditor on your own approach to bring at least seven people that will just be crying and rolling on the floor and just throwing all the accounts paper up into the air towards Mommy Gio, and that way maybe you will stand a chance of getting your voice heard. Um, and that's one of the things we love about Mommy Gio. This assignment I've been given now, I cannot do it, but without the help, I can't do it without the help of the Holy Spirit. I've been told to invite up um, um, <laughs> my boss, um, our Father in the Lord, to come and say a few things. But wait before you clap. See, anytime we go to a place and they're giving an award to Daddy Gio, you know, Mom, Daddy Gio would always bring Mommy Gio up on the stage, bring Mommy Gio along and, and things like that. And in my mind, I'm thinking to, to you, know, in, you know, thinking in my mind and looking at those people that you don't know, the award is actually meant to be given to this lady because without her, People will suffer. <laughs> oh God. See all these ones that somebody is sitting, uh, prepping what you people will eat, you will do all that one. Daddy Joe is a very simple man. I mean, we went to America one time, well, not America, another nation, let me cover them. And they didn't bring any meal because they didn't learn from the previous time that they made us fast till 3 a.m. Daddy Joe just called me to come and see him at the edge of the glass in the hotel room. And immediately I got there, thinking he wanted to give me an assignment, he just looked down. And on looking down, we saw two eateries that we know their names and their color is usually white and red and something like that for their logo. One even has yellow and green. Figure it out when you can. He didn't even have to say anything. I already understood. Okay, okay, and okay. A bucket and a wrap. We are, we are good to go. So in today, <laughs> if you are going to celebrate anybody while you are celebrating Mommy Gio, please help me celebrate the greatest boss anyone can have and the best father anyone can have as I call up our father, my father, Daddy E.A. Adeboe. <laughs> Uh, all right. I think they should say like, uh, like mother, like son. <laughs> Please be seated. God bless you. <laughs> well, well, let me start by saying let somebody shout hallelujah. <clears throat> it's not in the program that I will be saying something. Probably because they know that... Uh, Everything that I could say about my wife, I think I wrote it in a book. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. Um, <laughs> apart from the salvation of my soul and the baptism in the Holy Spirit, and the best thing that God has done for me is to give me a good one. Uh, well, the preacher had uh, reminded you of so many things, how we met, about the uh, New Testament Bible, the two white handkerchiefs, that turned somebody who was an absolute rotting sinner to making a decision to say, this is the fellow I'm going to marry. The, the preacher told you, and by the way, that sermon was absolutely great. Um, I've listened to birthday sermons before the one I had today is excellent, excellent. 
Excellent. What can I say about my wife? Uh, I don't want to keep on repeating what you know already. You want to die? Mess with my wife. It's as simple as that. I will kill you so thoroughly. You won't even wake up on the resurrection money. I've said it before, and people have said if you, if you kill somebody, the government will kill you. I said, you have to find the weapon first. I'm not going to kill you with a gun. You just sleep and not wake up. And the doctors will call it heart attack. And I would tell God not to wait till the, uh, sorry, the day of judgment. Just send this fellow to hell straight away. I mean, it's as simple as that. Every man has his red line. Uh, of recent, I heard that somebody was talking and saying that uh, Pastor Deboye is uh, getting the power he uses from uh, some demons at Redemption Camp. And some people say, aren't you going to answer this one? I said, ah, we should be praying because this man is uh, committing the unpardonable sin. When somebody begins to give the glory of the Holy Spirit to demons, that's what Jesus Christ said. That's what they said to Jesus about Jesus. They said uh, he's casting out demons using the power of demons. And Jesus Christ said, mm, well, that fellow is not only doomed in this world, but he's doomed in the world to come. So when you hear somebody say that kind of thing, you should just pray for mercy for such a fellow. So even Jesus Christ had this red line. He said, if you sin against God the Father, you'll be forgiven. Sin against God the Son, you'll be forgiven. But you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, so you are finished. As rich in mercy as God is, you cross that red line, you are done for. So there were all kinds of people who have been mocking us, talking all kinds of rubbish, but they have been so careful. They didn't mess around with my wife. Because if they do, <laughs> you will read about it in the news. I love you, you are my children, you are my friends, and as long as you don't touch my wife. I can't take that. You mess around with her, there's no begging. We won't even be around to do the begging. <laughs> it's as simple as that. When you say how how can a man say that of a woman? I, well, maybe, maybe I never told you this one. I'm probably just wanting to say, um, apart from the fact that we suffered together, apart from the fact that of all the people who were cutting her, I was the poorest. I, She's a princess and uh, I'm a nobody, etc., etc. Apart from all those ones that, I mean, uh, you know, when the Lord was uh, dying on the cross, he looked down from the cross and saw one fellow and said, Hey, boy, look after my mother. Uh, apart from the fact that when I was coming to do my postgraduate studies, I could hand over my mother to this woman and I knew she would take care. The fellow who can take care of your mother, the fellow you can trust your mom to. 
particularly when you happen to be the only son of that mom. And then now somebody will now come and begin to tell you something about that woman. The best thing to do is just kill that fellow. Uh -huh. But uh, apart from that, there was a time we, I decided to fast, you know, because I have faced challenges in my life. And there was a particular one that I, I knew this one is going to require fasting and prayer. So I decided I will fast. I fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And of course, you know, whatever I'm doing, she's doing. Um, she's very kind. She knows it's not going to be easy to fast 40 days and 40 nights if your wife is eating. Uh, and uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I've, I'm yet to meet a better cook than my wife. Uh, so in order not to get me tempted when I'm fasting, she will be fasting. 40 days, 40 nights, I fasted and prayed and uh, the mountain remained. So I felt, well, if 40 days and 40 nights won't solve the problem, let's, let me try a second time. Another 40 days and 40 nights and she joined me and the mountain remained. So I said, all right, I think what I will do is this. Uh, my dear, I'm going to fast until this problem is solved. At least if God sees that I'm about to die, he will have to respond. So uh, let's reach an agreement. By the time we reach 40 days and 40 nights, if this problem is not yet solved, you will break and I will continue. And we agreed. Then 40 days and 40 nights came. <laughs> and the mountain was uh, a little bigger than before we started. <laughs> so if you think you have seen mountains before, I have seen maybe one or two. So I decided I will continue. So my dear, thank you very much. You've done your bit. I mean, 40 days, 40 nights, three times in one year. Uh, I mean, you have to be a very special wife. So thank you very much. She said, no. When you stop is when I stop. Ah. Uh, that's not what we agreed upon. No. And when I'm talking of fasting, I'm talking... <laughs> I'm talking of fasting. You know that kind of fasting that uh, all the holes in your belt, you have to punch new ones uh, because you have uh, contracted a little bit. 41st day, 42nd day. And she refused to stop. She said, no, you keep going. We're in this together. That's why I said to God, well, solve the problem if you want to. I'm not going to lose my wife. I was compelled to break after 42 days because my wife says, I'm not stopping unless you stop. And that's the kind of woman my wife is. <laughs> So when, you, when a man says, I want to spend the rest of my life with a woman, and the woman is someone who says, well, if you have to die, we die together. And then if you want to live, you live together. So if anybody sees the glory of God in our lives today, and is uh, upset, may God forgive if you see the glory and you don't know the story, may God forgive you. 
Um, maybe that's about all I should say about my wife. Uh, all the other things you have said, um, at least those you know. Some of you don't know 10% of our generous nature. Many of you have no idea what, she, what length she will go to, particularly when someone is down, to see that that fellow is lifted up. Uh, probably because of my own nature of assignment, someone may have a problem. They will inform us as a couple, and he, of course, he is my prayer partner. And we will pray. And because there are several other things for me to think about, there may be a tendency for me to feel that I've prayed about that problem, I've fasted about it, I've done something. But she won't let me forget. She will suddenly say, we have an unfinished job. There is pastor so and so. There is sister so and so. There is brother so and so. The miracle we are expecting for that person is not yet here. And I will get back to square one. I thank God for that lady. One thing is certain. If there's anyone going to heaven, my wife is going. I know that. I had to beg her, even this morning, as we were sitting down here, you are the one people have come to celebrate God about. St relax now, at least for two hours. Enjoy the program. As we were sitting down there, well, have they, have they given something for that fellow? What about that lady at uh, three by three? Uh, have they sent? Ah. Relax. Somebody is doing that. That's why I'm able to stay in the prayer room throughout the convention, pray, because I know whatever is going on out there, there's somebody who's looking after. ID had always asked me, what is your pet name for your wife? Uh, Honeysuckle. Uh, if it's Honeysuckle, I will eat it up. <laughs> Stop trying to find out. I have a special name for her. She has a special name for me. And if it is special, then it is special. It's uh, confidential. <laughs> uh, so, thank you all for coming. You will all be celebrated. God bless you all. And happy birthday, darling. God bless you. Please, um, our mommy would be going to the entrance and dancing forward um, with the whole family and the grandchildren. Um, the Adeyokunos, the Adeboyes, and um, Omonilis as well. Omolis. Onile, sorry. So please let us do that very quickly. If you know you're on that roll call, let me move to the center. Uh, Mommy Joe will just move from the front of you, please. Very quickly. Thank you.
Hallelujah. 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 Ebi bane beru ao funi olukara. Ogo alonu aba. Ogo alonu aba. Isha. Mommy, last year, so we went. Oh, you gee, 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 oh, Lord. Oh, no. I told you, 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 I
My father and my God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for keeping your daughter for 75 years. Thank you for the various times you have delivered her from the jaws of death. We could count at least 16 times. And there are other times that we don't even know anything about. Thank you for making her more than a conqueror. Thank you for fighting her battles for her. Thank you for defending her. Thank you for protecting her. Thank you for promoting her. A man can do nothing except you, the Almighty God, make it possible. Whatever we are saying about your daughter today is by your grace alone. Daddy, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I'm asking on her behalf that you accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for our children. I thank you for the grandchildren. I thank you for the daughters-in-law. I thank you for the relatives on the right side, on the left side, on my side, on her side. I thank you for friends. I thank you for people who wish her well. And Lord, I even thank you for those who don't wish her well. Because through them, you have proved to us that all power belongs to you. Yes, Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for preparing a table before your daughter, even in the presence of the enemies. Thank you, because I'm not unaware <laughs> that there might be a handful of people here today who are green with envy at what you have done for your daughter and for what you are doing now. I thank you because even as the preacher said, when we look back and we see how you've delivered your daughter from the bear, from the lion, from Goliath, we know that our future is secure. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I thank you for the years of ups and downs, years of hunger, years of lack, years when on this campground we don't even have two naira. And so we couldn't go to Lagos because the toll gate is one naira going, one naira coming. And thank you for today. Thank you for a time when we had no meat at all in the house. And we were preparing for okra meat. And it took our dog to kill a squirrel so that we can have meat. Thank you for all those days. Thank you for now. Thank you, my Father, my God, for all the journeys all over the world. Thank you, because 
On occasions, when we look back now, we took so many risks, and yet we were there for us. You honored our faith. And all those countries where we had practically took our lives in our hands, today, your churches are thriving. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything you've started through your daughter. We thank you for the grace that you've given to me, a husband. That whenever she says, uh, darling, what about African mission? Go ahead. What about uh, this? Go ahead. Thank you for the grace that you've given me that I never wanted to stop her. Just wanted her to become everything she could become. I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for a great help meet for me. Thank you for complimenting me. Thank you for someone who would not allow the world to know how weak I can be. Thank you for the strength you have given to us. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, my Father and my God, I'm crying unto you from the bottom of my heart. Please preserve this woman. Amen. Keep evil far away from her. Amen. Keep sickness away from her. Amen. Please, Lord, don't let her die before her time. Amen. Father, you know all things. I know you love me. I know you love her. But you know all things. You know I can't do this work without her. So please, Daddy, preserve her. Because you know, I can't do this work without her. So my Father, my God, keep death away from her. Keep sickness away from her. Continue to anoint her. Continue to strengthen her. Amen. Continue to fight her battles for her. Amen. Oh Lord God Almighty, draw her closer to yourself. Amen. And if you delay your coming, please remember our agreement. We would love to go together into your kingdom. So let it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, bless the children. Let them be greater than us. Amen. Bless the grandchildren. Amen. Let them be greater than the children. Amen. My Father, my God, bless all those who genuinely wish us well. Amen. Uh, for those who might not be so sure they want you to be well with us, Father, let them change their minds. Amen. All those who are here today and all those who are watching all over the world and uh, are part of this program, my Father and my God, bless them. Amen. Give every one of us a brand new beginning Amen. of a more determined commitment to serve you. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Right, let someone shout hallelujah. I think they want to dance back. All right. As we dance back to our seat, please help me appreciate uh, Daddy. Bye bye. Say a kui tozu. Yes, we say a kui tozu. Ibama sebo, moni Jesus ni Baba. Ibama sebo, moni Jesus ni Baba. Oh, oh, guwaye, ibabo, Baba eshe o. Jesus e masi. Ibama 
some more uh, further down the line but so that we can continue um, peacefully during daddy Gio's prayers he said something he said lord you know i cannot do this work without her um, little did mommy Gio know that that prayer is also coming from me also lord knows i cannot even do any work without mommy Gio. there was this faithful day that we were going to fly somewhere um, and the helicopter was coming to pick us up from the camp because of the location we're going to it would make it easier the night before we just got back from somewhere else absolutely tired but due to the nature of our work we already have multiple bags already pre-packed so you just switch from one to another I have maybe about 15 toilet bags don't judge me the EA in EA are the way it means expect anything. Now, after doing emails till about 4 a.m., I went to sleep. Takeoff time is 8 a.m. in the morning. Helicopter team, which God laid hand upon because they are not always like that in Nigeria, arrived exactly at that 8 a.m. I said I will sleep peacefully till about 7, jump up, get ready, and all of that. Unfortunately, my wife, too, wasn't around to show you how important your wife is in your life. It was my sweet Emisi that came and tapped me at 8.05 and said, Daddy, the helicopter has arrived. Jumping up, when you say 8, when Daddy Joe says 8 a.m., it means you are leaving at 8. So I picked up my phone, extremely confused. Should I shower? Should I just wear the cloth like that and pour perfume on it and try and hope it will smell nice? I didn't even know what to do. Calling Daddy Gio that the helicopter has arrived, sir, um, so that we can go. Then he calls me back in one minute and said, well, they would have to wait for at least 30 minutes because Mommy Gio is not ready. If you'd have seen the joy on the other side, that the God of Mommy Gio that answers prayers. You know, I had to then put on the sad face that, ah, so that, that means we will not be able to leave on time, sir. So when Daddy Joe says, I cannot do this work without her, he's saying that prayer for many of us. And on that note, Daddy Joe has approved that we can start nibbling on one thing or the other. So we are blessing the snacks in the name of the Father. Come on, let that your amen show that you are hungry. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And for all that is also within us, for those who have already started to eat without praying, we'll bless you too in Jesus' name. Over to my boss. Man. Hallelujah. And all that is within us is blessing the name of the Lord. We want to thank you on behalf of Mommy Gio for your patience and for bearing with us. We are moving on. And right now, it's my joy this afternoon. One of Mommy Gio's biological brothers 
has written a book and we're going to be doing a book launch right now and um, all the way from America. Please welcome with me Pastor Bayo Adeyokono for the book launch. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are happy like myself today, can you shout hallelujah? We are here to celebrate Christ in the life of our mommy. How do you describe mommy in one sentence? If you want to describe mommy in one sentence, you can say she's a sincere, genuine Christian with an epitome of Christian virtues. Can you help me appreciate Mommy Gio? Daddy Gio is very blessed to have Mommy Gio, which he has said continuously. I remember when he was coming to the house, we say, the mathematician is here. And uh, one day he said, I should go and learn Pythagoras theorem. I said, uh -uh. this man, he, he, he doesn't want to win. You know? Ask me to go and learn Pythagoras' theory. But the Bible says, a man's gift shall make way for him. So that the Jew was very wise. He bought me a packer pen and the book burned all. So I became a campaign manager and decided we are all going to vote for her. I mean, we are all going to vote for him. So we voted for Daddy Gio. So Daddy Gio, thank you for taking care of my sister. God will bless you. I am privileged to write the biography of Mami Gio, but before then, I want to appreciate Mami Gio personally. Uh, Mami Gio finished UMC in 1966, and I was in Form 1. And my daddy said, now that you are finished, bio is now your responsibility. From 1966 to 1970, she paid my school fees in high school. Can you help me appreciate her? And not only that, and she took up the responsibility of every one of us when our daddy passed away. God bless you, Mommy Gio. In fact, if you don't mind, will you all be kind enough to say thank you? Can you stand if you don't mind? And say thank you, Mommy Gio. Mommy, we appreciate you. Please, you can have your seat. We don't say it all the time, but on behalf of the Ade Yokunus, the Fowers, the Oshundansis, the Olukonis, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. I will just read something from the book. The title of the book is Mother of, of you know, Nations. I will just read like maybe half a page from the book. Mommy, follow Adeboye distinction in ministry and service to, to humanity and the role as the matriarch of the Adeyokunos, Oshundansis, Fowes, and Olukoni families inspire this effort from somebody she, she sacrificed to raise up in the family. The call to provide filial, moral, and spiritual leadership fell upon us immediately after the homegoing of Baba and Mama Adeyokun. Our leadership over the affairs of the family at the time provided the much-needed succor we desperately needed. By the grace of God, she is, the large, she is largely instrumental to our coming to know the Lord as our personal Savior and Lord. With largeness of heart, courageous men, and dogged determination, she stepped on the scale, charting a very glorious course for us to follow after the early demise of our parents. I'm overwhelmed with emotions and gratitude as I sit down to write these few lines, recalling some youthful memories and the role the Lord has used her to play in my life as an individual and a member of the larger Adeyokono family. She has been there for all through thick and thin, thanks to her communal spirit. One amazing quality which I'm in awe of her is her 
is our magnanimity. She gives without thinking or making references to it later. From mommy, I learned what it means to be an authoritative leader that is not authoritarian. She commands our love and you know, admiration because of her genuine love to see everyone succeed. Mommy, all your children, your natural children, and your grandchildren, they shall all excel in life. She simply wants everybody around her to rise in life. Such passion is what I believe she carried over into the work of the ministry. In mommy's gospel, there's a place for everyone at the top. And an erring person is not beyond redemption if I or she truly repents. I've had the privilege of watching her family life and how she lives out her faith in domestic undertakings. I dare say that Daddy and Mommy Adeboye constitute the ideal Christian couple. Like the Deborah of the Bible, a lifestyle behind the pulpit sets an extraordinary example for female ministers globally to emulate. She never allows her spiritual calling as a ministry gift to get in the way of her marital responsibilities as a wife and a mother. She's indeed the portrait of a kingdom woman. For me, she's not just a successful minister, she's also a woman of great character and inspiring faith who has molded humility, diligence, perseverance, and also generosity. Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboye has been such a great example for more than she probably could imagine. I owe her many thanks for mentoring me from my childhood and for inspiring me to do greater things in life with the assurances of her support and also prayers. I want to thank Mommy for serving me and our entire household so well. Our listening ear is amazing and that compassionate us is uncommon. As you increase in years, man, my sincere prayer is that the Lord will strengthen you to break new spiritual records and win more souls for the Lord Jesus. You will find renewed vigor and strength to continually support the dear boy in global ministry with a new dimension of apostolic signs and also wonders following them everywhere you go. And may the blessings of the Most High God be upon the old Adeboye household, making their later end to be greater than their beginnings in Jesus' name. So, Mommy G, happy, happy birthday. You shall live till a good old age, full of riches, full of honor. We celebrate you, we honor you, and we also love you. Let's give Christ a clap of applause as we celebrate Mommy G. And on the note of that, I will call my my no cousin, retired high commissioner to Australia with concurrent, uh, and also she was also overseeing New Zealand, Vigi Island, and uh, we are as now. <laughs> she has traveled all over the world to come and do the launching, uh, to come and conduct the launching. Ambassador Ayo Ulukoni. Thank you, Pastor, by your mommy Gio, daddy Gio, uh, mommy Gio, I feel highly honored to be here to conduct this section of this uh, uh, book. My dear Pastor Bio, I feel highly honored. Thank you very much for this uh, honor. We will leave the stories of other things which we did, how we grew up on the Mami Gio for another day. But I think what has happened is that um, Pastor Bio, if we look at the foreword written by Vice President Oshibagi. He said, Pastor Bayo here himself has done a masterful presentation of a journey of faith written with spiritual insight and admirable literary craftsmanship. I will, this is just to whet our appetite in terms of what has happened in this particular area. Um, we will round up very soon in terms of this book launch and I will call forward a few people to do that. In the course of my own service in the foreign service, 35 years in Nigerian foreign service, which span uh, Brussels, Belgium, four years in Tel Aviv in Israel, four years in Nairobi, 
um, two times in the permanent mission of Nigeria mission to the UN, and also, of course, in Vienna, and finally, Canberra, Australia, from where I covered New Zealand, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, and Vanuatu. I can confirm that the redeemed Christian Church of God is there practically in every part of the world. And indeed, I can say that uh, the redeemed Christian Church of God is usually the alternative permanent mission, chancery of Nigeria across the places. I can say that because I sat in those places. And when the mission fails to perform, usually we'll say there is a redeemed church somewhere around the place. Can we call the pastor? Is he, can, we, can it be helpful to help the consular cases? Somebody who has been deported, somebody who has arrived, who is in prison, who needs some support. This is what the, the redeemed Christian of Church of God he mentioned Vanuatu. The total population of Vanuatu is 260,000 people. What there? Fiji is 850,000 people. The redeemed Christian Church is there. So in terms of the work, it means that the state itself, government, Nigeria, cannot perform this function alone. And that's where the faith group, of course, has done good work. And in this context... Mommy G has been mentioned in terms of the work which is doing African mission. If we can say that the GO is a global leader, we can also say that the GO is the foreign minister, the numero uno foreign minister, when it comes to the redeemed Christian Church of God. And of course, who will be the minister of state for foreign affairs of the redeemed church? Who will be other than Mommy G Om? Who is the minister of state for foreign affairs? as far as the redeemed church itself is concerned. And the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs has his foot on the ground. I'm saying that as a career diplomat in terms of the work. And so when you talk about the African mission, you're talking about Mami Gio as a minister of, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, as far as the mission is concerned, itself is concerned. And for her, as a Minister of State, for foreign affairs in the redeemed Christian Church of God, Africa. Africa is the heart of the matter. And for our, Africa is the heart of the matter, and the heart of the matter, of course, is a matter of the heart for her. And that's why what we've seen in the African mission, of course, is done a lot of work. Somebody came in here to talk about what happened in other places. You talk about Zambia. I was in Nairobi in Kenya. I know what I'm talking about in terms of what exactly happened. I also covered seashells, and I know C, of course, was also said. So, in terms of the African mission, this is a reflection of our commitment, but not only just the question of campaign in, um, in poetry. I will give water, because when you campaign in poetry, like Mario Komu said, you govern in prose. She takes steps to ensure that practically all of these are gone. Mommy, we thank you very much for what you have done. All of these are captured in this, and I will not waste too much time in terms of what, of course, you have done. So when I come to the house and I say I want to see the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, and I'm not asking for Mami Jiwelum, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. We met in Australia, we met in other places. I will at this point um, request and your pledge, I mean, uh, uh, crave your indulgence to call on the following people to please kindly step forward to help us in terms of unveiling the book itself. Um, it's not a question of announcing funds. Of course, we'll have the account itself. I, I want to please uh, crave your indulgence, and I want to invite uh, the following launchers. All of them, of course, will represent us as well. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Mrs. Okoli, MD Mzo, and of course, uh, she also sits on the Commonwealth of Independent State in the healthcare sector in terms of various... Um, uh, please, you can please um, step forward because you will join us in terms of unveiling uh, the, 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 the books itself. Um, we have Mrs. Folonsho Alakija to MD Fan Fan, one of the also launcher to as well. Yeah you, can, yeah, you can just please come forward, step forward near where we'll unveil. Uh, we'll be very, very brief. And of course, I also want to call on Mr. Uh, Emmanuel Emefienam, the MD of uh, the MD of Premium Trust Bank, one of the new generation of bank which is just coming in here you're most welcome sir we have mr thomas etu one of mommy's children i will not forget the fact that he oh, sorry mr 
Mr. Thomas Etu. Uh, he was one of those who recently, of course, uh, established a cancer center in Ifewara. Um, Patrick Kayode Piton, the MD of Bank of Industry. Pastor if he's, uh, Pastor Kayode, uh, Bank of Industry, if he's not here, maybe he's represented here too as well. Um, the National Overseer of Past Pastor Akonde, please kindly join us, you know, the, kindly join us too as well. Uh, we also want to invite a Reverend Joe Olaya uh, to also please kindly join us. Um, we also have um, Pastor Ido Iluyomade. You can please kindly step forward as one of those who will launch. And of course, uh, we have Pastor Sarah Omaku, all the way from the heart of the nation, capital itself. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, being here with us. Um, these are these are the people who will help us in unveiling uh, this uh, work, brilliant work by Pastor Bio himself. And I will um, step forward. Maybe I will move nearer. Um, if we can, the, our co, my co MC, if you can please uh, kindly also step forward um, so that we can uh, eventually unveil this uh, masterpiece uh, of work. It is here. Um, can we, can we, can I thought this is, can we, can we first, can we first unveil this? Um, let us first unveil this. If you can just step, I'll ask uh, Mrs. Zokoli and Mr. Uh, Etu to please kindly help us while we sort on them. Can we, can we, Said, can you please come this way, step forward? In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mommy. Sorry. Can we give another big round of applause? I will crave indulgence of our launchers to please kindly just step aside so that we can capture this particular uh, moment. Just so that people, uh, members, so people can see uh, the book. Now we have the books here. Um, we have the books here. Can we, can we gently just, uh, can we gently step? Can we, let us go this way, this way, ma'am. No, you, you can just step on that side. You can just step by the side here. Sir. Hey, Pastor, you can just come here. Pastor, can you also please uh, come to help? Unveil. Well, the book itself, has, um, maybe perhaps as we spell Mami Gio, give me an M. Give me a U. Give me another M. Give me a G. O. Mami Gio presented Mother of the Nation in a book, like I said, a masterful presentation of the journey of faith. Written with spiritual insight and, of course, admirable literary craftsmanship. Uh, we will not be announcing funds, money in here. It's not of a tradition. But I'm sure the respective co-launchers, I mean here, will, of course, uh, indicate in terms of the support for all. Um, we will also, of course, let you know that the book is available. I think it's um, 10,000 Naira. Um, this is Oshiawa Prize. You can, of course, buy many copies as you want, both for the libraries in the churches and other places too as well. I will also, the, the check will be written for African mission. Uh, if we have it, we can just uh, post it on. Um, but subsequently, we will have a desk on my left hand side where people can come in terms of uh, um, uh, uh, picking up copies too as well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, all the proceeds of the book will go to Mamijiu's ministry. 
She has so many ministries, Kada, where she rehabilitates people from drug abuse. She has the holistic ministry, prostitutes that she also, you know, try to rehabilitate them. Of course, the African missions. So all, all checks, donations should go to African missions. And then we have some pledge, some pledge slips here. If you are interested to pledge to a ministry, uh, by now you know that God has blessed them. Amen? So every proceed of this book will go to African missions and for all other ministries. God bless you. So if you need a pledge slip, you want to pledge to a ministry, just stretch your hands and the ushers will just quickly give you one. Just raise up your hand. They will just quickly give you the pledge slip to donate to our ministry. God bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor Barry. I will now, at this point, just give our respective co launcher just to say one or two things uh, in terms of their support, not exactly mentioning funds, sir. not exactly mentioning funds. How to support this, of course, will come to you subsequently. And that I will start with uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Dr. Mrs. Okoli. Uh, you can always pass that one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. What a day. What a wonderful thing the Lord is doing in our generation. What a wonderful thing the Lord is using our daddy <laughs> and our mommy. Um, doing, in, you know, uh, the church. I was born a Christian bishop of the Niger. My father wanted me to live with him. I did, and that's all that mattered to me. And I started working in Lagos. They brought me to the camp for night vigil of work. I said, what's happening to these people? What's the problem? They don't want to sleep. I went home. Then one day, Abuja we call. They are coming to the camp. This one we call. We are coming to the camp. I used the exit. I didn't use the normal um, exit to go. I used the back door, got into a taxi, started, where is the camp? Where is the camp? That's how I got there. And on the way, I asked um, some people, where do you stay? What do you do? And they laughed. I said, we've been asking you to come for a long time, and you did not. And that is the beginning of the story, of the journey. And I thank the Almighty God that since then, I have been enjoying the goodness of the Lord in Redeemed Christian Church. And I met Mommy, the mother of nations. And her kindness, her goodness, the way she loves people. And she asked me one day, who are you? <laughs> I said, I am Stella Okoli. And you know, it's wonderful because I have learned a lot. I have a lot to learn. But God has blessed me and all of us by bringing us here to be under daddy and mommy. This is wonderful. The book is looking beautiful. And uh, what do you want me to say? And uh, okay, okay. Um, you look lovely, everyone here. And and uh, please don't go on without a copy. Minimum is a copy, right? It's wonderful. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. So that we don't waste too much time, perhaps uh, we can just have uh, maybe Reverend Olaya will also say one or two things, and then I'll praise the Lord. We are all here celebrating the goodness of God. Mommy, we love you. And um, the support for African missions is and other and her other ministries is getting some gold attached to your crown when we get to heaven. Please, with all our hearts, let our love for Mommy Gio be reflected in our support. God bless you. 
Thank you very much. Um, we are winding down the next few seconds just to announce the fact that... Uh, um, but before that, we would um, kindly request the, to Mrs. Alakija to say one or two things. And then, of course, we will move on. Mommy, of course, is a prolific author. She also has this book, which is also available for 5,000. Uh, Ma, over to you, ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. We are all gathered here today to celebrate a daughter of Zion. One whom God has been using mightily as a helpmate to our daddy in the Lord. Daddy G.O. We thank God for her life and all that God has been using her for in the work of missions worldwide. This book is a testament to all that we have heard and all that God will continue to use her to do by his grace. I'd like to encourage everyone who has seen this book, who has heard about this book, to make sure that we all get copies. And we even send them out as gift items. And we make sure that it, it reaches every church all over the world, not just our CCG uh, 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 churches. Every church, every human being should get a copy, a, a copy of this book. God help us all as we do in large numbers. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, ma. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Of course, Abuja is, still remains the capital. And I guess a message from Abuja. Uh, Madam, Mrs. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, please, uh, you know, we said Mami Gio is Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. <laughs> in case the new Minister of Foreign Affairs comes in, we're not usurping the position. You will do that for us in Abuja. But I thought we should just have a few words from you uh, as we round up. Thank you, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want a few more people to join us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome. Over the years of my knowing Mommy Gio, she has made us at the Feast of Esther to read books. And every book she has asked us to read has been very impactful. I still use the um, warrior mom every day. I pray for the children of the Christendom today. And I think that listening to her story, listening to who she is, I want to know from her family, from her children, from her brothers and sisters, who she really is, because they won't lie. So this is a good book to read, to know about her. Mommy Jio is everything everybody said, plus a church planter. She, she asked me one day, Sarah, how many churches have you planted? I said, we have three churches. He said, they will scatter. The young men in your church will scatter. You better open churches for them. And we started. And um, I heeded her voice. Today we have over 106 churches from her. So I want to know about what drives her, what moves her. And I think that every woman here should get a copy for their daughter so that your daughters grow up to emulate good people, not these half-dressed and half-senseless people, that we have strong and good role models to follow. Please get a copy for your daughter or for your daughters. Get for the women of your church, and let's support Mommy Gio to finish strong. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Uh, Ma, can we please give a big round of applause for our co-launcher? As we round up, move on to the next stage, I want to say again, thank you very much, sir. We thank you very much for, I, like I said, I serve in Israel, and when we talk about Jerusalem, uh, our own Jerusalem, Nigeria, and I used to joke and say that um, uh, the Jerusalem of Nigeria is in Elisha, maybe across Ifewara. By the time you take Pastor, G, Pastor uh, 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 Daddy Gio and all others, at the end of the day, you say, this is Jerusalem of Nigeria, and that is it. Um, as Ijesha people, uh, I'm very sorry. So, in terms of the entrance to the place, I mean, Elisha, Mount Carmel, don't forget, is also there. So, in closing, I want to say that uh, mommy's, one of mommy's favorite 
songs igba gbo loye ni mede yun le agbo igba gbo loye ni mede paso kun le aja igba gbo loye ni mede yun le agbo igba gbo loye nu mede jesu ni ma sin jesu ni ma sin igba gbo loye ni memo yun le agbo o memo yun le a I will thank you very much. We recognize all those who are here. I think Pastor Bayo has one or two things to say um, so that we can, of course, move on. Now. Thank you, Ambassador Ayo Lukon. Clap for the Lord if you want to. Uh, let me also revise one of our books, 15 Principles of Human Relationship Management. It's a book that I think every pastor needs, every household needs, it will change your idea about leadership, management, how to manage your church, and even how to manage your own. The books are over there with the mother of nations. Thank you for your patience. God bless you all. Thank you once again. Um, the books will be available on the other hand um, so that uh, people can buy copies, 10,000, like we said. And of course, they also pledge from here to support the African uh, mission. Once again, thank you very much uh, for your patience. And I'll now hand over to the MC as we continue the programs. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And to the author, congratulations. We bless the name of the Lord. I can see that we are busy, but our hands are not busy. So can we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? We'll soon be rounding up very, very shortly. But I'm going to call on Ayomide to come speak on behalf of Bubwa Momole. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all are enjoying your meals. My name is Ayomide and I am an Omole, right? So, Omole comprises of children who are not biologically mommy's children, but we have experienced her in a very different dimension. I'm supposed to give a tribute about mommy, and to be honest, she's all encompassing. Is it in style? In, in wisdom? To me, she's an inspiration to me because she embodies what is written in Proverbs chapter 31 of who a virtuous woman is. She's a, she's a loving mother. She helps even when you're at your lowest. She can easily come through for you. That's my personal experience of, of Mommy Gio. She is so loving that you think of it sometimes that way. It's like there is nothing else my, my biological mother can do for me that she hasn't done for me. That's how much of a loving and wonderful woman she is. Can we jam my hands together for her? And I want us to always have it at the back of our minds that even if, even if people talk about people who are an epitome of wisdom, inspiration, and greatness, Mommy Gio is what? She's an understatement. She's, 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 She's wisdom personified. Whatever they've said is just an understatement of how great she is. Please let's give her a round of applause. Ayomide, thank you very much. Praise the name of the Lord. We're gradually coming to an end, but we have two beautiful cakes here, and it's important that um, they're so beautiful that I don't even think that mommy should cut them. Just carry them home. But we want to eat out of the cake. So please, I'm going to be calling on one of God's generals in the house, Mommy Ezekiel, as I fondly call her. Please welcome with me Reverend Dr. Mercy Ezekiel to lead us in the cutting of the cake. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. 
We're ready to cut the cake. And I'm going to call my daddy and my mommy, Jill, to come up. They are looking so young, so handsome, so beautiful. Oh, my world. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please celebrate them. You don't know what it means to be 75. Esheo Jesu, Aomanyo, Esheo Jesu, Alaru Ayomi, Esheo Jesu. Please sing with me. Oh, show. Oh, show. Thank you. Standing behind the, with the cake is my daddy and my mommy. And they are ready to cut the cake. M Mama is born in seventh month, which is a perfect month, an outstanding month, a month that is not common to men. And that's why we are here to cut the cake. And we are going to cut the cake with grace. I'm going to use the word grace. That's the word I'm going to use. So whether are we coming, are they saying we should come out where they can see their faces? Huh? Should I buy? Aha. Uh -huh. So Sir, please hold the ma. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. And I'm going to spell grace. Um, once upon a time, we have a girl. Her name started with G. And suddenly, she added R. From nowhere, she added A. And from nowhere, she added C. And behold, she added E. Here they go, Grace. on the biological children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Thank you. 
Please, we'll be calling on general overseers from sure. other ministries to please quickly join. General overseers from other ministries, please kindly join them. And immediately after them, we'll take um, all our assistant general overseers, governing council. of the redeemed christian church of god the board of trustees please quickly come and take a photograph with our beloved mother my god Yes, it's 
Jiki Jiki Jio Akoi Tazumi Mingi Niki Yawu Woma She Praise our Lord Akoi Tazumi Of the Feast of Esther Feast of Esther Please come quickly Sorry of the Ayodeyoku family now. Cousins, relations, aunts, grandchildren, Adeyoku no family, everybody. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Calling out the members of the Adeyokuno family, whichever side of the Atlantic you reside. Adeyokuno family, please. Idemija Mondo Minira Latiba Moti. Oh, 
Please get ready. The Onukonis. Please get ready. Ogoni for the Otobanu. The Onukonis, please, you are next. Ogoni for the Intercontinental overseers, please come. All our intercontinental overseers and their wives, please come quickly. We can see you, all the intercontinental overseers. Prayer, mission, security, CSR, please come with your wives quickly. What's After that, we'll do Ifewara, oh all our in laws from Ifewara. Pastor Janet, Pastor Mrs. Garamola. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 
Along with the Los Ibiki Gadula. This is the assistant continental overseas. O city for Loru Kaka. We Loru Kajesu. O Gwe Kuma Wola. We Loru Kajesu. O Gwe Kuma Teriba. We Loru So we pray, which them they call fear, come moti ba Jesus. Go see la la. Why me and go this grandchildren, the pastor seed family, PSF. Please come quickly, PSF wherever you are. Please come right now, PSF, pastor seed family. Pastor seed family in diaspora. Pastor Seed family in diaspora, whatever side of the Atlantic or Mediterranean or Pacific that you are, please come quickly. Pastor Seed family, quickly get up wherever you are. Ani ago de fema momo Jesu. Them they come for your grandma to my When you go to fear, grandma to my days. Elano, a corny, eh? Pretty men they come for your grandma to my days. Do, 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 do. When you go to fear, grandma to my days. Only go, go, yeah. Team, the men in white, Pastor Titi, everybody, please come. All the men in white. What's money? Mommy's team, that is detail, everybody, please. Money, yes, a little something special for my, my daddy. daddy. Okay, now. Because you just did bless me. Give me grace that I'm not deserving. So sit down, make you daily sing. While I stand up and I'm dancing, oh. Cause of you, I'm singing this song. Make you day, hear me more as I weep. Alpha. My God. Omega. Beside me. There is no other. Alpha. Praise the Lord. We thank you, our music yes. ministers. God bless you. Now we are going to be giving to the microphone to the celebrant. You'll be seated to give us a vote of thanks. To be seated, comment, sorry. Response by the celebrant. Mommy will be seated to give the response by the celebrant right now. So please, let's pay attention to the wise, wise words of our beloved mother, Mommy G.
will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. just want to say thank you to the Almighty God because this is the essence of our gathering here today. Blessed to me, I will just thank God in the corner of my room because he knows my intention. And if the intention has to be expressed and be shared by all of us in the house, I am the most blessed woman. So I welcome you and I thank you for sharing out of this joy today. Your own joy will not be limited. In all your lives, you will only entertain celebrations of life, not of death. It's a mistake they call when somebody has died. They will always say they are celebrating life. I don't, I don't know that one. And I don't buy anything into it. While you are alive, I believe you should be celebrated. So, for all of you who pulled my leg and brought me here today, I want to say thank you. 
The Lord has been so gracious to me. I cannot tell you all, all he has done. But the greatest of them is that he saved my soul. He showed me the way to heaven and he's leading me, guiding me step by step, day after day. I cannot pay the debt. Thank God Jesus has paid it for me on the, on the cross. I'm only expressing the one that I can express. Please help me to thank God by clapping. You will, you will hear more of my thanksgiving later, but I want to move on. You have spent so much time, which is very good for you. You don't see me often like this. And even when you see me, I will be telling you, I have a meeting somewhere. Say whatever you want to say in the next two minutes, I'm off. But for you to have stayed with me today and the general overseer, God will love you to the end. Uh, because it is the love of Christ that has brought all of you from Abuja, from London, from America, from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north. I know it's not an easy thing, but God that you have honored in our lives, we honor you in returns. I want to say a big thank you. In a manner, some of you have not seen me done it before. I think I did it only one time. I'm sure Pastor ID will be expecting me to kiss. I'm not kissing. <laughs> After God, it is this man of God that God has chosen for me to be my life partner and God has been faithful. Is the next person I want to give thanks to. He has allowed me. <laughs> he has supported me. He prayed for me than any other person can do. He makes me comfortable. He did not allow my vision to grow dim. Because I'm such a person, if I want to go to Lagos 10 times a day, if anybody disturbs me, ah, I think that person must be very, very strong. So, Pastor Deboye, the general overseer of RCCG, the one God has chosen for my life to be successful thus far, which is going to continue because I've just started now. Uh -huh. So you should all know I've just started. Is the person I'm talking about. I have not seen any man like him before. Probably I can say my father. He knows my father, but a son excels because of his education and the spirit of the living God. My father was a Christian, but he, he, didn't, he was not baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost. So today, he understands me. I will just say thank you to him in a way that I know, the best way I know. I won't enumerate all he has been doing. If you see anything that I am doing, <laughs> hey, if he has not allowed me, I won't be able to do it. So, help me to say, Pastor Deboye, thank you. Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Baba, oh. Oh, you are the Baba, see, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Baba, oh. 
be detailed in my in my comments God has preserved my life you have heard him <laughs> more than 17 times I have faced death so I have a story to tell I'm going just to mention names and I will not be talking in details but when I mention your group or your name Know that sincerely from my heart, I am saying thank you. The next set of people is the RCCG, represented by the AGOs, the Continental Officers, and their wives, provincial pastors, APICPs. Everyone and their wives. I want to say thank you. Because if you have not supported us, where shall we be? And the Koi Jawade, a show, a Kubobo, a Kubobo, a Jay, a Jayoni, Janio, oh, Mama Jenny Loni. The Lord of hosts will support you. Thank you so much. I want to thank Baba Kidayomi in absentia. In fact, it's my number three, the next after the deal. Papa was the one who saw what was in me before he died. After one of the congresses, the congress at Ijebuibo, he sent for me in the office on one of the Mondays. And when they say, Baba is calling you, ah, you don't know where you are going to land. I was shaking. I entered the office. I didn't even, even know. I was kneeling down right from the gate, the door. He said, Doka Sumabi, Doka Sumabi. <sighs> okay, Jesu Leni. I didn't look at his face. Who are you to look at his face? And I was like this. He said, Ah, sister, everybody is sister. Every female person is sister. Ah, Congress, Jebubo. That is, you have done well. As from today, you must begin to undo the convention for me. Hey! I didn't say yes, sir. I didn't utter a word. Eh? Show that it and I crawled back to the gate, to the door. Because in those days, we were the errand girls in the kitchen. For the older mamas, we would put water in the uh, basin for the pastors in the vestry to eat. For me to be handling the convention, now where will I start? How am I going to handle the situation? May a soul rest in perfect peace forever. The children of Baba, I want to say thank you for your contribution to our lives and all we have been experiencing in the ministry. The Lord will support all of you, the Akedayomi families, in the mighty name of Jesus. And the next set of people I will just mention briefly, no detail. 
they are my siblings. Pastor Bayer was the one who came out to, um, to tell us about the book he, he, he wrote. Pastor Bayer, Pastor Demola Adeyokunu, the senior brother. Ronke Adeyokunu, blessed memory. Delanke Adeyokunu, Boyega. Um, Yinka, all of you, the Lord will keep you. You will make it in life. You are part of my success. Because God has made you to follow me and God has kept you, my joy is in that. I am grateful. For all my, the other part of my family, the Olu Connings, I job yak be bobo wow, I show I do well. All my, and not my, the Adeboye family. <laughs> Eh, joy for me, Lori, contain young Kafako. Eh? Only one young Kafako, and I'm Milesi. Eh, ma? Ah, Bobo, you better say that battle. Ah, the Adeboyes family. I want to say thank you. If I were I, I die for more share. If I were I, I die for more share. Bobby, I can I do ya see? I say I do buy. I could talk to me. I say I could talk to me. Bye bye, sing bye, mini gi, lost sing bye, mini gi, so si. Mi ole wa la ye lo ni, ba se si karu mi ba se salo. E she kuko. Olu wa duro si yo. I want to say thank you to my my classmates of fifty four years. Fifty four years. Thank God for the rest of us that are still alive. The registrar for the university of whatever professor, professor, all of you, you are there. Over the years, when we are on, our, um, on, the, on the phone or whatever, I always sign the youngest. You are all older than me. And yet you consult me doing so many things. I want to say thank you. The Lord will honor you. Agbanya Dale. Jesu Lama Pariasi, and one more wash, surely you don't tell you, surely you, and one more wash, surely you. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. I also want to say thank you to the general overseers from all other nations, missions. Some of them had left. The rest of you that are here, we are grateful to you for always being around us. For everything you have contributed to RCCG to make conventions, special Holy Ghost services, congresses very unique and successful. The Lord will uphold you and your ministry. It will not be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am grateful for your coming. At this time, I want to say thank you to all my colleagues in the Feast of Esther. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All our ministries, God, will uphold us and we shall all be successful. All other colleagues, all the teachers in the house, shout hallelujah. If you are a teacher in the Bible college, anywhere you are teaching, in the College of Tech, Mafunaya, are you not a teacher? All the teachers in the house, shout hallelujah. 
Thank you. God will keep us and we shall finish well. I want to say thank you to all my destiny lifters. Those who had supported me one way or the other. Starting from my home, all my house helps, drivers, gardeners, the secretaries in the office, um, who else? Everyone in all the offices where I am operating, directorate of teen and children, school of disciples, all workers in the home, God himself, we count all your work to be rewardable at the end of the day in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. African missions, I think I have mentioned this. Uh, please continue in good works. God will never forget your good works. I want to say thank you. Oh, everybody, I have not said thank you. I have not called your name. Please forgive me. Don't forget I'm human being. So I love you all. And I want to say thank you to all of you. All those who have blessed me one way or the other. Either in money or in advice or in prayer. You know yourselves. God himself will support you and it shall be well with you. Baba me tari nyi bita ijoko le foju pamo eku ushe eshe adupe olu waduro si finally the choir I know you know I love you. God bless you all and all the praise singers. I would like to express my response with, with some songs which will bear with me because there is no way I can express my thanksgiving to God enough. But please bear with me. You have been here for so long. There are still more to enjoy. And please bear with me. Come on. My first one is to express my thanksgiving for mercy. The Bible says if it, if it is not for the mercy of God, we should have been consumed. So, I want to thank him for his mercy. In Yoruba, Funwano, Topa Binyari, Simon Balo Jojuma, Lata Da Jesu, Oluwa, Kile Mi, Lope Timo Mua Emi Oshi Are Emo Masoro Ebule Masi Mabe Like Brother Paul said that all he has done is by grace. <laughs> if not by his grace, where shall I be? Probably, I will, my, I will just be saved and will be a bench warmer. So I want to thank him for his grace in English. Grace is a charming Grace is a charming sound, harmonious to the air. Heaven with thy kosher sound, and all the earth shall hear. Saved by grace alone, this is all of my Jesus died for the all mankind and Jesus died for me. 
to make my commitments again to God in the presence of everybody. And that commitment is that the grace of God will not be in vain in my life. As he continues, that grace will perform wonders more and more in my life. And I'm going to sing it in English. It pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He'll always be with us if we do our part. There is not in this wide world can pleasure for it. There is peace and contentment in serving the Lord I love him far better than in this of war I serve him more truly than ever before I do as he bids me whatever the cost I'll be a true soldier I'll die at my post. We have this blessing that Jesus bestowed. A tree for salvation from sin's better throes. Oh, come to the Savior to Calvary free. The fountain is opened in flowing for me. I love a better than in days of young. I serve him more truly than ever before. I do as he bids me, wherever the cost. I'll be a true soldier, I die as my post. I love him for better than he is of your I serve him more truly than ever before. I do as I beat me. Whatever the cost, I'll be a true soldier. I die at my post. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you honor. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I have been more better than ever before. I true desire whatever is cost will be a soldier will die as a Please, if you are clapping for our mother in the Lord, please celebrate her properly. Um, on one of our many journeys uh, while serving 
and still serving the Lord with our Father in the Lord, we went to one nation, and while we were there, there was an earthquake. Um, we probably did not tell Mommy Gio this, so that she would not become even more worried uh, while praying for us on our journeys. But when one particular nation hotel was about seven, eight stories high, and um, there was an earthquake, but our Father and the Lord did not even move. But I'm sure when he woke up, he saw that there were things that are poured all around the room and wondering why. While this earthquake happened, I came out, my beloved pastor, Kunle Ajayitu, came out, and Pastor Oiso Brown also came out, although Pastor Kunle Ajayi came out, packing all our passports in his hand, wearing a boxer shirt and a singlet, knowing at least we will make it home in one piece if we have our passport. And he said to Pastor Brown, Shalom, sir. And in his response, after seeing the building next door collapse completely, he said, there is no shalom here. <laughs> but that did you, that was probably the last stop for that journey. And as the Bible says, those who make it to the end will be saved. So tap your neighbor that you are closer to the end of this program and you are most definitely saved. In case you have not gotten served any meal, please wave your hand so that the servers will know where you are in case you've not been served any meal at all. Any meal at all. Uh, you guys are on duty now. Ah. Cameraman choir, and then there's a mommy for me for as well, waving over there. Please protocol, make it happen. The sound engineers, cameramen upstairs, also have been forgotten. Um, you can't raise your hand, sir. Okay, uh, it has been noted and we will get to it shortly. We'll be taking a hymn. <laughs> I hope you'll be able to sing that hymn well now. <laughs> Depending on how you sing this hymn, will determine how quickly you are served. And I will. The hymn is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. Um, you would forgive the rest of us if we take the hymn with you while seated. Once you are ready, thank you.
please let us celebrate the choir, the RCCG Mass Choir, under the control of the Intercontinental Music Director in the person of Pastor Kunle Ajay. Thank you very much for this wonderful experience thus far. Um, after we finish and we do the closing prayer, we will be having one of our own special Olushayo or Odile and the Joy Company. Um, before that, we will be having the vote of thanks by the one and only and the last wise man in Nigeria, Pastor Adiolu Adeboe, the first born of Momijio, out of many. And while it's coming up, I'm sure you're expecting me to crack a joke, but I do not like pits. If you understand that, coat of many colors and pits. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, my elders, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to thank God Almighty for his grace, for his mercy, for his favor, and for his loving kindness over every one of us. And I pray that God Almighty, who has ordained today, who has brought us here safely, will take us home into our individual homes in the mighty name of Jesus. And on the last day, the most important thing in life is that we will all finish well in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. My mom, based on most of the things you heard, she is a woman that um, she's a mother that loves to bring everybody as close as possible together. I'm sure you all had read that. She brings everybody together. And one of the things she always said to me, Diolu, Ebi, I carry my family, my brothers, my cousins, all together. And that's one of the reasons why you see the whole family here today. She always said, Diolu, you have to make sure that you bring your brothers and sisters together. You have to make sure you are become, you're, you're united and you speak the same voice. So for this reason, I cannot give thanks alone to every one of you seated. Uh, with the honor of all our elders in the house, from the governing council of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Intercontinentals Overseers, the Board of, I mean, I've mentioned that, the, the Your Excellency, Mommies, Best Friends, and every one of us. I would like to bring in my brothers and my sister, because there's no way I can thank you all. This is my style. A lot of people will say, he doesn't do it alone. Yes, I cannot do it alone. So on this point, at this point, sorry, I would love, I'd like to call uh, Pastor Bolube Adubi, Pastor Leke. And um, there's, um, there's, there's someone I need to invite who has not been here for the past 22 years. Hey, hey you know, don't wave. Please join us. Don't wave. Join us. And uh, where's uh, CC Temi? Sister, Sister Temi, please join us. Auntie Tommy, please join us. Please, please, please. When mommy was, when mommy sang here earlier on, she went to daddy to hug daddy, to show her affection to daddy. Um, there was something that I, I think she forgot to do. She did not seal it, like Pastor ID always say. So I believe one of these, between we finish this service, uh, mommy would like to finish. Mommy, come here. Come here. And there's something that he also said earlier on, that um, I will need to have, we will need to have a family meeting, daddy, tonight, please. There was something you said earlier on when you were responding. You said in your prayer, you said, both of you, you're praying that both of you will live at the same time. Daddy, we need to talk about that. Uh, we have a family meeting tonight by God's grace. For us, you need to think about us, please. So at this point, Auntie Tommy, 
we all take it in turns because we cannot i cannot thank you all uh, so this is my this is my this is our family Repl where's Temi? where's sister Temi? sister Temi needs to be here please join us and who uh sister Temi, please join us so i pass the phone microphone to auntie Temi. Praise the Lord. My brother here has said it all. And we want to thank everyone who has taken time out to come and celebrate our mommy. We cannot thank you enough. Adeli Barrio, Arino Kuriu, Nkwayo, Nkwai Bukun, Nkwai Dunu, La Mama Barawashi, in Jesus' mighty name. Eshew, as my sister will say, uh, we are grateful. She will, I'm sure she will share that joke when it's her turn. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. We want to say thank you to everyone. But before we say the thank you, I want to say a little bit about my mom also because they didn't give me the mic to talk since morning. And one thing that I would have loved to say Number one, we are having a meeting tonight, like my brother has said. The second thing is that mommy thanked everybody, but she didn't thank we, the children. She thanked the grandchildren. So mommy is going to pay another fine for all of us. We are going to, we are going to do another party for all of us all over again. That's uh, what you And then the third thing is, when mommy looks at you, you don't need to know what she's saying. She doesn't need to talk. Just the look. When she looks at you like this, you know, that one is sure. <laughs> when she looks at you and she shakes her head, hmm, you are moving from fire frying pan to fire. When she now looks at you, not only shake her head like this and does like this, or turns the head like this, round, and there's one thing that, you know, she did sometimes when uh, my brother Leke was still very young. She, she looked at the boy because we had a visitor and the visitor, they serve food, you know, and the little boy was looking at what they served the visitor. Uh, my mother looked at him. The boy didn't get it. Ah, she looked the second time, shook her head. He didn't get it. After some time, she looked and turned her head around. The boy still didn't get it. Then my brother said, Mommy, what's wrong with your eyes? So when she said, Mommy, what's wrong with your eyes? Immediately the visitor left. She now called him and said, come, I want to show you what was wrong with my eyes a couple of minutes ago. Mommy, we appreciate you. We, you don't even need to call our name. You have disciplined us so much. I wish my children too will know when I look at them and understand what I have told them because they are all will not only ask you what's wrong with your eyes, they will tell you, can I bring you eye drop for your eyes? Is your eye, is your eye itching you or not? At this note, I want to say thank you to everybody who has come to fellowship with us and to honor our dear mommy. By the grace of God, you will be here when she's turning 80. And by the grace of God, we will all be strong, healthy. We will all come to eat boundary and when she's turning 85. Ah, some people, your amen is sitting on, uh, on the wheelchair. Now, by the grace of God, you will not be using walking stick, but you will be here healthy and strong when she's turning 90. Ah. I'm saying amen too for myself, well, if you don't say it, because hey, we don't know the angel that is passing around. Gabriel, Michael, all of them are here today. Now, we will all be healthy. Our teeth will be complete. 
and we will be able to eat the food, the meat that they will give unto us when she's turning 100. Amen. Mommy didn't say amen. She's shaking her head. Ah. <laughs> but when she turns 120, we will allow her to go. Amen. Thank you all. God bless you. We appreciate you. I will give the mic to the one and only Obojuade in Igbo camp. She's, he called himself Omonio. Anywhere he goes to, he's the son of man and the son of God. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. I think the speaker of the house, she has said everything. She's, uh, we call her the class captain in my house. Praise the name of the Almighty God. So I want to use this uh, opportunity on behalf, the, on behalf of the Adubis to say thank you to our mommy, say happy birthday. And just as uh, the class captain has said, we'll be here when you are 120, 125 in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the name of the Almighty God. Uh, we also want to thank everybody that is here. We pray that it's going to be well with all of you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Okay, on behalf of all the daughters-in-law, mommy wants to say thank you for loving us, for caring for us. We thank you for our way of communicating and of friendship, of motherhood and daughterhood. We thank you for accepting us the way we are and changing the things you want to change in us. Um, so mommy has a way of apologizing when she does something. Well, and when you do something to her, is you know, in both ways. She will call you, ask if you are okay. Not, she will not address that issue itself, you know, and will say, ah, I want to see you. And you'll be wondering, but you can tell me what you want to say on the phone now. Like, do I, let's just, she, say, she will tell you no. At so, so, so time, let's meet. And when she starts with, hmm, Eje Kagbadura, ah, you know that something has happened. Because any conversation she's going to have at all, she will start with prayer. And that I've also learned from her, that whatever it is, even when you think it's small, just start with prayer. When your heart is hardened, there is no way to not be softened at the end of that meeting. You know, and after the meeting, whether you are happy or not, she will still send you food. By the time you see the food, only if the devil lives in you, that's when you, you know, that thing will not be resolved. Thank you, mommy, for being who you are to us and being true to yourself. We pray that you live long in perfect health and the Lord will keep you and keep daddy too for us. In Jesus' name, because when we offend her sometimes, we don't even know. Daddy will tell you, Sha, go and beg her. You know. So thank you for helping us to understand um, relationship, family, living in harmony and unity better. We pray that the Lord will keep and strengthen both of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Uh, Mommy Gio, thank you, ma'am for everything. If I should start here, I will cry, so I won't say anything. Um, I told my mentorship group one time like that, that for them to understand the value their parents, especially their mom, put inside of them, they need to quantify how much everything cost, from diapers to nappy to breast milk that they took for some people's case one and a half years, uh, one year and six months. Um, all the way to the school fees to when we failed the uh, one module in masters and you went to pay for it with your own money since daddy Joe has refused to pay for that part um, to absolutely every part of everything uh, we are really really grateful uh, on behalf of all of us to the Ashodun, uh, to the everything uh, we are hyper hyper grateful following us from school to school uh, location to location Thank you, ma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I uh, will pray that I will keep thanking you for more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Hall. Um, Your Excellency, we want to say thank you for coming. Um, all the general officers of various ministries, thank you very much for coming. Um, 
if you look at the whole crowd within the hall, within the auditorium, we just want to let you know that you are special. And that's the reason why you are here. If you have to call everybody dear to mommy, this all cannot contain every one of us. I mean, as a matter of fact, maybe we, have, maybe we could have had it in uh, maybe old auditorium or the new arena, but we cannot. I remember last year when we were planning this, um, the, 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 the instruction given to us was that there won't be nothing. There will be nothing. From that, nothing became, okay, when we had more, we're putting up you know, pressure on mommy and daddy, was that, okay, probably will be within the compound of the house. From there, okay, 100. From there, 200. Finally, we got to the numbers of 300. Then later on, I think few during last week, it became 500 after the Holy Ghost night. But I just want to let you know that you're special. That's the reason why you're here. So I want to really appreciate you, sir, ma'am. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. And I pray that God Almighty, who has made it possible for you to be here today, will be with you, protect you, guide you, answer all your requests, answer all your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. And like my brothers and my sisters have said in their prayers, there will be more to be celebrated in Jesus' mighty name. 90 for both of them, 100 for both of them, 120 for both of them, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you all, and God bless you. Thank you very much uh, to all my siblings. I would like to acknowledge the presence of Our Excellency Bamidele Abiodun, the First Lady of Ogo State. Thank you so much, Ma, for coming to honor us here today. Um, and I believe by your coming, that means we're exempted from any form of tax for the next 75 years in Jesus' name. Please, can I hear that amen properly, RCCG? Amen, amen, and amen. Uh, PA, you heard though, so please let His Excellency know that uh, Our Excellency has signed a deal to exempt us from taxation. Um, you see, the, the, my siblings that came, every single one of them have a title. Uh, the man with the double anointing, he has the ability to drop twins at any time he wants to. Um, we have the United Nations, which is Sister Bolu, always quenching issues and resolving battlefront problems. Maybe they need that now between Russia and Ukraine. Um, we have Sister Tammy, uh, the amazing one that gave us the three beautiful individuals plus more. Well, yeah, you understand that one. Um, and then, of course, Sister Tommy, the one that is uniting unity with a secret love for events, planning, and organizing. Um, and of course, Pastor Diolu, the firstborn. Now, Daddy Joe said something. He said that when he was frustrated and he wanted to leave RCCG, that God told him, if you leave Redeem, your first child would go. Ah, when I heard that, I was thinking that Pastor Diolu would be calling him every morning. Is there anybody that has offended you in RCCG? Just give me their name. Because literally, my life depends on it. Um, but uh, maybe that's going to also happen in the meeting we are having tonight. <laughs> I look forward to that meeting. <laughs> to give us closing prayer, um, and I hope everybody has been served now, yes? Ah, okay, it's not only communion. Um, <laughs> to lead us in the closing prayer is the national overseer on whose grounds we are on here in Nigeria in the person of Pastor Engineer Sunday Akonde. Please help me welcome him. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for today. We give him all the glory. We give him all honor. We give him all the glory. 
We give him all on. Our Father in heaven, the King of all kings, we want to thank you. We want to bless your holy name for this great day that we are celebrating our mother. We say, Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for taking absolute control of everything since we started. We give you praise, O God, for bringing everything to a temporary close. Daddy, to you be the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that as your children will be going back, please, Lord, go with them in the name of Jesus. You brought them here safely. Take them back to their destination safely in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for our mother. Please, Lord, continue to stand in her. Lord, let us celebrate several years in the name of Jesus. In good earth, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our daddy. Continue to stand in our daddy. In the mighty name of Jesus. What as we go, go with us. Take control, glorify your name, and that if you, our Father, tarries, Lord, come the 88th birthday. Let all of us be present in the name of Jesus. And if the trumpet sound before then, please, Lord, let all of us be at your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we share? Please help me celebrate daddy. Before we share the grace, there's a few announcements. In order for you to make sure that Mommy Joe keeps loving you, get a copy of that book, Mother of Nations. Make sure you have one and you are holding one, or else you are not going to get a Christmas gift come December. There's also another book I believe I saw outside, The Principles of Leadership. Um, that one, make sure you also get that. Um, please, in order to manage traffic, the gate for um, the youth center, immediately you come out and turn right, is open. You can use that if you are going to Lagos. You can also use it if you are going towards Ibadan, Abeokuta, etc. The gate for the youth center. For those going to Lagos, once you exit out from that gate, there's an opportunity for you to do a U-turn back to be able to face Lagos. It's just about two, 200 meters or so, you'll be able to do a turnaround to face Lagos. It makes it easier for you rather than going through the whole of the camp. Um, can we share the grace? Find somebody that looks like a testimony and not a test and hold their hand while you share the grace with that person. Some of the servers are looking at me. Find someone that looks like a testimony and doesn't look like a test. Someone that looks like I can transfer money to your account immediately and share the grace with that person, pointing at them. Say, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Say, transfer that money to my account now. God bless you. Let's go ahead, go ahead, please. Go ahead, Minister Shayo. Please dance, dance, dance. If you see any drink on any table, it is open season. Happy birthday to you. 